How did E Rock fuck things up all the way from the Bahamas? Can we call? Is him that where on, he is? Uh, yeah. Can we call him on vacation and tell him that he fucked that up? That he fucked up. We were. I would take pleasure in that. We were discussing that yesterday, maybe in a meeting. But maybe just. Maybe Why is he on vacation? Isn't that what he does here? <laughs> <laughs> he goes from staycation to vacation. Can you imagine what he's eating? Yeah. On vacation. Yeah. Like thinking, like, hey, I'm on vacation. It's all right if I eat. Not that he doesn't eat like yeah. shit. All the time, but on vacation, it's like now I could just do it guilt free. He's the only guy alive that should be going on working. Yes, <laughs> I'm going on working. He gets four hours of working a year, and he's uh, taking one of those weeks right now. I'm taking a one week work, uh, and I here's what he's doing right now he's laying on his side on the beach. And his stomach is in sand, and he's eating an ice cream sundae that's melting all over his fucking his <laughs> oh, fat fingers. All sticky. Yeah. And he's falling asleep. He's dozing off. His fucking his fruit flies on his ice cream. Fucking tropical animals. Thank God you took that angle. For a oh. second, I thought there was a Greenpeace thing about to happen. Oh, no. Oh, Thank of God you didn't go there, Jimmy. Not what a whale is? Of course is. you didn't. Yeah, he, here is uh, the uh, runner-up in the most uh, annoying thirty-second contest. Runner up. Yeah, all we're, right. We're up to the runner-up in the contest, yes, which is second place, by the way. Second place, and yeah. this person wins a two hundred fifty-dollars gift certificate thanks to I hate Steven Singer dot com. Yeah. Pure annoying. See, that is that's horrendous. Fucking annoying. And in a way, a lot of we've got a lot of uh, noises, sounds, repetition, mm -hmm. and shit. But people try too much to mix it up, right? And either make it funny, which disqualifies it pretty much. If sure. it's too funny, sure. then it's not as annoying. Or there's too many different things going on, so it's. It it doesn't annoy you as much because you're listening to too many different things and Word. you're concentrating on that. Word, that Anthony. was so Word monotonous up. and so repetitive and so annoying right. that it had to uh, come in at least second. Yes. And why don't we tease the winner now? And uh, we'll play you want it to tease the winner. <laughs> we'll play it later. <laughs> Fuck. Actually, we'll be announcing the winner Friday. <laughs> on. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Should we play the winner again? Uh, we might as well. By as the way, if, uh, that fuck up never happened. Second place, that was William Desmond. He gets two hundred fifty dollars gift certificate. Ah, a two hundred fifty dollars gift certificate. Yes. What does the winner it, get? Two thousand dollars cash, not gift certificate. Two thousand dollars. Drugs with it, whatever you want. That's right. Once again, the winner of the most annoying thirty seconds. Here it is. From Peter Thomas. Congratulations, uh, congratulations to Peter Thomas. Yeah. The truth of the matter is, Tom, wait, did not wait, wait, wait. The truth of the matter is. They're so screened over there. there and then they dump. And then. That are against uh, uh, his show. Pest, and you never hear it on the air. Doesn't mean. That the pest. He doesn't talk about us because. Fucking bunch of no talent wannabes sitting behind desks. That that is so annoying. I don't. I want to know what that was about. It's very fucking annoying. Dude, that bothers me knowing what it is. Even I don't know what it is. I don't know who we were talking about. So that has to be the winner. Yeah, it is yeah, the winner. And it officially, is. it is the winner. It is. Uh, congratulations once again to Peter Thomas. Speaking of that clip, listen to this, Jason in Virginia, Virginia Beach. Jason, hey, what's up, boys? Welcome aboard. What's up, Jay? Thanks, Jay. The first time you guys played that clip, I got so pissed off I turned down my radio called XM. I was on the interstate. I go, why the fuck is my radio going out? So I was on hold for two hours with customer service bitching about my radio going out. And then they gave me six months of free XM, and I was on an eight-hour road trip. So later on that evening, I was listening to the replay and play it again. Mm -hmm. And um, Making this so, up. Oh. I'm not making it up. It's a pack of lies. It's a pack of lies. <laughs> a pack of lies. <laughs> what else happened? Then I got on a plane and the pilot died. They asked me to fly it, and I had money to have XM. And I. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. 
skeptical. It's Stop with your filthy lies. <laughs> two hours on hold. Why did you just listen to the radio and realize it worked? <laughs> Fucking 10 second audio and all of a sudden three hours of your life are gone. Yeah, I almost crashed. And I ran over and it was a fire. And I, I pulled Johnny out. Why don't you believe this guy? <laughs> He's full of shit. <laughs> and I had to drop Pony Boy Curtis off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking liar. We called Dylan. <laughs> Oh. I love you, Jimmy. All right, buddy. I love you. All right, Jason. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Maybe he got free XM. Who the hey, fuck he certainly that? didn't. He didn't know. Fucking no. He just told that story to people. Here's what really happened. <laughs> yeah. He fucking heard that static. He tried to call XM, but his fucking he had peanut butter on his big trucker fingers, <laughs> and he kept dialing it wrong. And he finally got them, and they're like, "Hello!" And then he heard his radio was okay. He goes, "Oh no, it's working." <laughs> His story was horrible. I hate the stench of your lies. Fake. <laughs> I can't believe we fucked that up, but there you All go. Right, Contest right. over. I wouldn't believe if we didn't. Thank God. Yeah. Most annoying 30 seconds. Thanks for Thank uh, God. participating. How about most annoying fucking two months? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steven Singer, by the way. Go to uh, IHateStevenSinger.com. Oh. Call me rock on vacation. Oh, nice. Hold on. Who's got this? I, I'm not sure if I got anything. Well, I'll just talk Go. to him. Go. Hello? 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 Oh, he no, no. Did he? He hung up. He hung up as soon as he heard us, right? He Fucking call that goddamn cock back. <laughs> did he really hang up as soon as he heard us? <laughs> Why did he hang up? <laughs> Don't make us give out some info. Oh, don't he? <laughs> don't make us, you, <laughs> don't you, make us right, give go. out some info. Go? No, there's no go. Why would he hang up Let's on see. us? Troy's coming in to explain. Troy's going to come in to uh, explain. Okay. Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan. Do you have questions today or answers? Is this a Just conspiracy? Answers. You got yeah. answers. Yeah. Nice. Did what you like happened? the Patrice O'Neill stuff yesterday? Oh, he's, he's fucking brilliant. He is. But, um, yeah, first of all, it's not under his name. It's under his wife's uh, name. All right. Okay. First and foremost. And then he answered the phone. Wait, that's it? a... They really have a room under worst decision maker in history? <laughs> <laughs> that's a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can you put me through to 1520 regrets it? Um, <laughs> My last name is what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to talk to made a mistake in uh, 1137, please. Hey, listen, uh, can you put me through to, to, to 607? He's getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then, so then I, I was like, hey, what's up? Good morning, it's Troy. And he's like, oh, Do you have do you a want? last name? Uh, yes, I do. I married a pig. Uh, can you put me through to I married a pig? <laughs> Sorry, Troy. <laughs> I want to make a reservation for two under. I should have listened to my mom. <laughs> a little long. Poor <laughs> poor uh, what, so he answered the phone. Then what happened? Yeah, I said, "Hey, good morning." It's Troy. He's like, "Oh, what do you want?" Yeah, uh -huh. I said, "The guys want to talk to you." He's like, "About what?" I'm like, "Oh, they just want to check in." All right, let's call him back. Yeah, so, so that's why he's not going to answer the phone. I can like guarantee. Part, it. What are you when you're part of the radio show? What What are you doing? How is he not answering? I get everybody like playing along and and, and but it's like, how do you not? It's like guys that won't come in the studio. It's like, do you yeah, know yeah, what we yeah. fucking do here? Yes, this is what we do. Should I try again? Get yes. Him yes. Get him back. Tell him we're demanding. It's not a request. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a fucking request. Yeah. You're on vacation from this show, motherfucker. Right, right. Get on the phone and take your beating while you're on vacation. I don't yes. get it. Unless you want that vacation to be permanent. Well, it is anyway, even when he's working. <laughs> yeah, it is true. <laughs> on vacation. Just put a lounge chair out by his office. <laughs> an umbrella, some sand on the floor. Exactly. A oh, treat. Giant fucking six-foot heroes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Homeless Jim was one of the winners of uh, the Most Annoying 30-Second Contest. Oh, yeah? Very nice. He's very familiar to the uh, the Twitter world. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're trying E-Rock again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, otherwise, we just give out the room number. Yeah. yeah Don't yeah, give out her name. Just give, out, give the out the room, the room number. number. Well, what is her last name again? I, I won't say it on the air, but I don't no, know. What's her last name again? It's, uh... Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm answering. Right. <laughs> Could you put me through to 1127, uh, crushed every night? Can we please talk to <laughs> crushed every night party? Poor woman. She's all hot. Yeah, I'd like to talk to, uh, could you put me through to way hotter than him's room? Thanks. Soon to be leaving, is soon to be leaving in the building? <laughs> out of his league? Is out of his league there? That could be any one of us. Isn't it? <laughs> True. How do I get the hiccups from laughing, I guess? <laughs> yeah. But how do you not get on the phone? I don't see this going to a position where we can answer it, unfortunately. What do you mean? 
Yeah, look, it's, he's. I think he's trying to convince him. Is he? I don't no, know. He's on with the Shot operator you. right now. Oh, he's just on with the yeah. operator. How does he not? But how does he Hello. not get on the fucking phone when you know we're doing a radio show? I don't understand that mentality. I love E Rock. Hello, we would like to connect you, but he's always calling room service. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, we'd like to talk to Is this about the ice cream sundae? <laughs> <laughs> we want to, but you got too many bowls in your room. <laughs> we can't open the door. <laughs> All of the cards. Oh, are... All right, here we go. All right, All right, here we go. Hello, Iraq? Eric? Yeah. Hi, how are you? How's vacation going? How's the going? vacation going? <laughs> Fine. What's the matter? Why yeah, you, you sound. Do we wake yeah, you? Yeah, what's the matter? What's wrong with you? What do you want? Don't you want to get up early so you can hit the beach early? No, oh. I'm good. I would do that. Are you half asleep? You've what been going out by the pool or the beach? Isn't that isn't that adult pool really cool? It is great, man. Isn't it nice? The fucking place is fantastic. Got hot broads. The music's nice. You got the tables right there. How much you a night? A little gambling. How much a night is the room? A lot. Well, how much? Yeah. Tell me, but it's, it's, it's not a secret. A it's, not, it's not real estate you're buying. It's a room. Yeah. <laughs> Why are people so weird with money? How much is that gum? Nah, you know, it's handled. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's wrong, Eric? Yeah, yeah it's a matter? legit question, dude, because I was talking about that's how we sparked this yeah. conversation. What's yeah. I'm saying I would like to go down there. How much is a room? And Gregorio said that's where E-Rock is. Yeah, for once, we we're, we're want to know how you're doing. I'm doing fine. How much is the room a night? sounds cranky. You're on vacation. We haven't You're on even vacation. done anything yet. We will do something, but we haven't done it yet. You're on vacation. Why are you cranky before we do what we're going to do? This is what you called me for? I want to know how much the room is a night. Yeah, and we want to know how your vacation is, and we want to know what you did yesterday. If you did anything fun, did you pet the dolphins or go on the water or slides? frighten them? It's about a grand, and no, I didn't. How do you afford that? Tax on it! Tax on it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds right for a place like Do you like, like that. the adult pool? You didn't answer that question. Exactly. No. Yes. With the with the yellow towels, right? Did you get Did you get the room in trade for uh, when they let people swim with you? You're not going to answer Eric. one. Fair question. That's, Eric. That's a good question. E-Rock. Travis, <laughs> Travis made a mistake today. Yeah. So we wanted to, actually, we wanted to call you so you could kind of, you know, laugh at bask, Travis's bask mistake. Bask in that. Yeah. And, and you didn't realize that, and you think we were going to make fun of you. Yeah. Exactly. So you kind of fucked it up. Are you still on there? Your own. Yeah, he's there. E-Rock. Yeah. Oh, okay. The most annoying 30-second contest got all fucked up today. Remember that? And we uh, were ready to play the, the runner-up clip, and what happened was we played the winner, the winning clip by accident. Travis had it. Fucking uh, up so, the whole energy of the big announcement. Yeah. So we, we were like, here's the second-place uh, winner, and it was the actual first-place winner. And, uh, it had to be there. <laughs> and and <laughs> it was, there was no... Uh, no excuse for it, and we couldn't rag you for it or anything because it was Travis's fault. So we got on Travis a little bit, but then decided and, to call you. Yeah, we thought you'd appreciate that, but I guess not. Yeah. Oh, that's great. What did you do last night? Anything fun? Yeah, tell us how it's going. What have you been doing? Well, Might as well on. talk Gam to you while you we gamble have you on the at phone. all. You gamble? Uh, no. Well, what are you doing? What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? Went we out, drank. Hung out at the beach. Cool. Yeah. Did you check out the uh, the fish tanks? No. Why? That's kind of cool. You didn't check out the dolphins yet. Where'd you go to? For, did you for... go on the water slides? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did. With the lazy river. What are you gonna ask it? <laughs> this I... is seriously what you called me for. No, yes, when you're on vacation, so we're, we're like, it. what's Iraq right, doing? Just... Honestly, don't be so paranoid. We're just yeah. trying something a little different. Relax. Can we ask you what you're doing on your vacation? Yeah. And what were you going to say? I was going to say, I've been there, and it's great. I've been there, too. Uh, did you try the krill? <laughs> did you he hear how you knew the hang-up was going to happen? That's whale food. <laughs> 
took they forever. They strain it through their baleen. This <laughs> <laughs> is trying to grill. He doesn't want to be woken up to be called a whale on vacation. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's in the Bahamas just being called a whale Stop on the radio. Trying to relax. It's, oh. it's 8 in the morning and he's getting all fucked up. Can Troy call him back? Because we yeah, can't yeah. answer the question. I don't know yeah. why he wouldn't answer that question. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, we could probably say what hotel he's in, right? That's not bad. He keeps asking for the garlic <laughs> butter <Yeah>. song. <laughs> Every time we open the door, we knock bowls with ice cream juice in them on the rug. <laughs> The man just laying there with his body, him look like the end of Raging Bull. His big stomach. Yeah. His wife always running out the room. <laughs> he tried to walk into the gymnasium. He was like a vampire going into a house uninvited. Him couldn't do it. BJ the trucker. <laughs> Left like a little chick. Shouldn't yeah. E-Rock get up early and hit the ocean so that people could take their pictures? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck. Yeah, isn't <laughs> whale watching early? Wow. You gotta get up early for whale watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, dude. Poor <sighs> E-Rock. We we woke him up. <sighs> All right, I think I we're getting him back on the ringing. phone. Yeah, that's yeah, good. <laughs> his his room. <laughs> he he just picked up the phone and just hung it up. Oh, did he? Yes. yes. Oh, come on. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I like how he. I, I like his attitude too. <laughs> like like we're calling the fucking boss. Right. Uh, is this why you called me? Like, yeah. like it's like if 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 Elo at the time was our boss and we called him during vacation, mm -hmm. which we probably would, and he would have given and he would have given us, given us radio, but but he would say things like, "Guys, is that it? Is, is this why you called me? Not E Rock. He should be like, oh, thanks for calling, guys. Gee, I still have a job. I went on vacation. You 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 know." Actually realized I was away. <laughs> we had to ask him to leave the pool area. Him was snorting chicken fingers off a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> None of the other customers wanted to go in the pool with him. <laughs> him off the butter his sides to get in the pool. When he jump in the pool, the children play a tsunami. <laughs> well, All the water go into the lobby. <laughs> Let's say hi to Scott in New York. Scott. <laughs> hey. Hey, you know, the guy gets one week off from you assholes. You don't give him three days before you call up calling him a whale? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not on vacation. He's on work. He's on work. This is what he work. does. Right. How the fuck is he working in fucking Jamaica? Well, how, how the fuck Wherever does he, he work around here? <laughs> him trudge along noisy in the hallway, waking <laughs> everybody. Him walk heavy, even fatter than he is, if that's possible. <laughs> Poor fat bastard gets one week off from being called yeah. a fat bastard all day. Yeah. And you call him at deep 15 to remind him. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we did. Yeah. Yes. And we're going to call him all morning now. Yep. Him wear puka shells around his fat neck. He have to sew two <laughs> necklaces together to make one. <laughs> him puka shells look silly. <laughs> Opie, I don't agree with it, man. I, All man, right, I'm, well, I what, what, what can uh, I tell you? Thank geez. you. Uh, fucking Jack in South Carolina. Jack. Hey, look, you know, Ewok has to get up every 12 hours. Once to make the tide go out, and then another time to make the tide go out. Jeremy in Baltimore. Jeremy. Jeremy in Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> Never heard that one before, Ed. Happy birthday, Jimmy. What's that? I said happy I birthday. I heard you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, E-Rock just gets us all excited. He really does. It gives us a nice boost of energy, doesn't it? His it name really is does. Heavy Feet McGillicuddy. That's what everyone calling him. Heavy Feet. Heavy Foot McGillicuddy. Trunging along everywhere. Walking fat. <laughs> him eating all the desserts in the hotel. <laughs> Customers eating celery. <laughs> you think you so think that you think the fish people down there are just following 
behind him with big nets, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for their opportunity waiting for the big one. <laughs> right. He, oh, man. he <laughs> ordered meatloaf with a straw. <laughs> we don't want him here. Hey, if Troy's not calling back, I, I don't know what to say to Troy. Hey, if you guys, if you listen to Jimmy and Ant, you think he's in Jamaica, but if, or I'm sorry, and oh, but if you listen to Anthony's accent, accent. Like You're tripping all over yourself like E Rock running to the last dessert. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not even attempting the accent. I don't do it as well as Jimmy. <laughs> no, but Ants is more accurate to where he is. If accuracy counted, we wouldn't be implying that he was actually a whale. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Let's go to Nick in Atlanta. Nick. Uh, Nick there. What do you got, Nicky. buddy? Nicky! Hey, boys. I just want to counteract what that last jackass said. Yeah. Look, A-Rock's got the best job in the world, and if he can't play a little on a fucking phone while he's on vacation in Jamaica, he should try to do one of our shitty jobs out here in the real world. Yeah. I know you guys appreciate what you got, but that fucker, that's almost to me like somebody that won't come in on a weekend for an emergency for a little company's business. No, I mean, like... All right, man. Uh, turn on Fox News. Jamaica just capsized. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't he fucking play along? Because he's a know. blithering idiot. What is he doing? Maybe he's mad because he's got to wait for the jet boat so we can go parasailing. <laughs> yes. He wanted to go parasailing. They had to bring a barge in. <laughs> the boat went up in the air and did a wheelie when it tried to pull him. And the people fell off backwards and drowned. He gets on his jet ski. All you see is his head through the water. <laughs> <laughs> he got water in the engine. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Fuck, man. Come on. Oh, good. Another 90 minutes of this. It ain't gonna stop. No. 90 more minutes of fat jokes. All right, he's on hold. Let's see what happens uh, oh, here. Oh, we're just really kidding. Not, yeah. For we'll Pete's sake. Yeah. Oh. oh, God damn. That's funny, man. Uh, Jim, keep it up. It's awesome. Is he on hold? Uh, leave E Rock alone. He can only sleep for 20 minutes, then he needs to come up for air. It's Jim in Chicago. Uh, come on. Well, we still have a shot at it. Somebody is talking to him. We'll just wait. <laughs> we'll just wait. Where is he? Troy's, come being, on. Troy's being connected to the room right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh my. I want to listen to Troy. But Troy's talk saying he's him. not picking up. Not picking nope. up. Nope. What he, happened? He's not picking up. What, what do you think happened? He might be on to us. What the fuck happened, you think? <laughs> then, then you know we're not diets. <laughs> uh, I like I like the ice cream bowl thing. Oh boy, the phone went dead again. All right. Well. Oh come on. Why is he doing this? Do you know how many treats he must be enjoying? That's a, we should ask him if he's enjoying treats. How many oh. treats are you having? Mm -hmm. How does, does he ever look up and catch his wife looking at him like with hate? As he fucking has his face buried in a dessert bowl? And he's eating another chocolate lava cake? <laughs> he eat more lava! It's like I couldn't think of a volcano <laughs> reference, so I'll just go eat fat. <laughs> he's eating all these delicious treats. Every time he orders a dessert, she wants to fucking brain him with a hammer claw. If anyone's seen Alex Kidner, please let us know. <laughs> he disappeared after Iraq went in the water. Oh, a water. <laughs> it's Italian. What are you doing? Hey, the man break wind and a license plate fall by the pool. <laughs> Maybe, I think he might be hiding from the locals. Matt in Atlanta, you got something on uh -huh. that? Hey, you know that hotel uh, probably feeding that fat stuff to get him ready for the luau. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna shove an apple in his mouth. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that kid? Uh, I don't know. Exactly. Hey, uh, <laughs> we're gonna play Guess the Sound. Really, out of nowhere? This is strange. Wow. Yeah, just a quick Guess the Sound. Why? Why? We're, we're well, it's fun to play games. 
It's interesting. But you ran in here with this. Guess the sound. It's very topical. Out of nowhere, we're playing Guess the Sound? It's very topical, Guess the Sound. All so right. we have to guess what this is? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hear it again? What are you doing? Huh. <laughs> hmm. What do you guys think it is? Um, I think it's Roland on the phone with E-Rock. <laughs> E-Rock coming up for a fish? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 using that sonar in his head. Want to know what the answer is? Yes. Yes. You can. ready? You didn't make it yes, Opie. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Obviously, it has something to do with uh, E-Rock. E-Rock, E-Rock giggling. Because he went to the spa to have his barnacle scraped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That would be Roland losing his shit in the office while you were making fun of me. <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> yeah. He's just losing He's it. loving this, well, right? Can we get Roland in here before break? Yeah. He is <laughs> loving this. <laughs> Fucking Roland is losing his mind. He loves when e gets blasted. Uh, Does he? Oh, yeah. Why does he hate E-Rock? Well, they, they hang out together. I just think it's a... He, he oh likes seeing him be, Eric, pe getting pounded. Eric and Philly, we should fucking order some desserts for E-Rock so they have to bang on his door or room service. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we do that? Kurt, you know, because we want him to enjoy his vacation. Yeah. He, he loves... I will tell you this. He loves treats. He loves being indulgent, especially on vacation. Do you think he's eating poorly? Oh, for sure. There's no way he's eating anything but, that's. But he's gonna have nutrition. a quandary. Like he's gonna be woken up again because room service is gonna be banging on his door. Yeah. He's gonna open the door and go what? And then there's gonna be all these delicious desserts on a tray. And then he's gonna go, who the fuck ordered this? And then the guy has to say, Opie and Anthony. And now what does he do? Yeah. He'll be happy because he loves desserts. He'll eat yeah. it. <laughs> you want to bet? We should have a yeah. Bet. Send him all kinds of cakes. Does, does he say I don't want the desserts and slams the door? No. What? Or now he's got to take the desserts in, knowing it was from us. I'll tell you this too. Not only do you send him a bunch of cakes, make sure there's one sandwich in there too. Yeah. Because maybe it also maybe he'll say and send all milk. that away, but leave the sandwich. Leave the sandwich <laughs> and the chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. Roland, oh yeah, was, he likes chocolate. Was, Roland, why are you losing your mind uh, just, because of the E-Rock abuse? When Jimmy does the Jamaican guy, I just lost it. Yes. Ice cream. <laughs> His ice cream balls. I just the, the balls. Guys say there the they cup. open the door, and what Jimmy's implying is that the balls are stacked so high <laughs> and all over the room that when they open the door, they didn't even leave enough room to open the door before the ice cream balls fall over and, and then, the ice cream juice and, uh, stains the carpet. And the, and and the kitchen have... has to send someone up to the room to get the ice cream balls back so other people yeah. can enjoy some ice cream. They ran out of all the balls. Yes. Nobody wants to go to his room. It's like opening a closet full of marbles. <laughs> <laughs> we said we have no balls, man. That was a great yeah. <laughs> The room service people are putting ice cream in their hands and he's lapping it out like some sort of fat animal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Roland. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was just sitting in my office. His tongue is like an aardvark, just <laughs> flopping out and lapping up every bit of treat in the entire hotel. Every bit of treat. No one else can have treats. People are eating lizard feet and leaves. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, see, it would have been over for you, Rock, if you would have just fucking played along for a couple minutes. Oh, I know. But now we're going to talk about how his. His girl has to apply the sunscreen like a uh, hot mops on a rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you ever see when they fuck it? You ever see when they paint a car in the fucking <laughs> Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sunscreen. Uh, <laughs> Roland goes out to lunch with E-Rock all the time, but nobody likes an E-Rock is fat joke more than Roland. Oh no, he loves it. Oh, they're because they're great. Uh, they're really good. Uh, Phil and Young. Nah, you know what? That's a great line, but I can't do that. Why don't, Why don't you just hear what he has to say? Uh, when I mean, E-Rock was swimming, it's... did somebody go up to him and go, "Easy, big fella"? <laughs> <laughs> The guy's the guy's <laughs> great line gives away where he is. That's why. I, I, yeah. I oh, I'm a big fan of saying where he is. <laughs> I don't care either. No one's gonna find him. He's not under his name, so. He's huge, though. They'll see him. Well, he is huge. He's giant. Of course, they'll find him. He is huge.
Let's just say he's at a place that could probably be called Fatlantis. <laughs> okay. Well, that's really a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Let's go to uh, Rich on Long Island. Rich. Parasite Island. Hey, you going to oh, Paradise Island. Oh. Me. I just shit my fucking pants. <laughs> he shit his pants. Oh, thanks, boys, for everything. Wake that fat fucker up. <laughs> Everyone wants us to talk to E-Rock. I know. He's popular. God damn it. How do we get yeah. a hold of him? Can we text him and say answer the That's fucking okay. phone? Come on, answer the phone, Roll bitch. Roland, would he talk to you? Um, Probably, because the, the, the phone number will mm. pop up the same as here. Oh, right, right. He might, so I probably yeah. won't pick him. Why wouldn't he? Well, uh, the phone number doesn't go to him because it goes through his room. It goes through. But, uh, I think he'll assume it's us. Uh, so. Isn't there a way to call direct? We'd have to know his room number in the extension. Yeah, and all we, that. we tried to get his room number, but they wouldn't give it to us. Why not? Thank I don't you. know. Security. <laughs> you can't just call up and say, hey, can I have this? Huh. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you could. Because we want to call him and tell him how fat he is. <laughs> yeah. Roller uh, wants to laugh. There's ways of getting around that. You got to be clever. He should just tell us. You give like. When does he come back? He's there all week. Yeah. All right. What is? Oh my god. We'll have to. He's off all week. We'll have to regroup. Oh, yeah, We're gonna have to regroup himself. for tomorrow, guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some info. We're Let's do some, some recon. We'll do some recon. We're gonna regroup. Get a little intel, and then tomorrow yeah, is this, just. If this uh, fucker doesn't play, man, he's gonna get room have... service at six in the morning tomorrow. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. That sucks when you're on vacation. Paul Benny order... calling as and, Jarvis. And, and, no, no. <laughs> oh, that would be dude. Great. Room service and nothing, <laughs> nothing but salads. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Or a bowl uh, of lima beans, just horrible, <laughs> fucking awful treats. <laughs> Stuff you would never eat. No, just throwing it against. He's the diabetic. Wall. He can't send any sugar up, or he's gonna die. <laughs> you know, I like this idea. Yeah, and I'm more than willing to fly fucking Bobo down there to do that bit. Well, we were gonna have just... Bobo down there outside his fucking room as we the figured, one man band. One we man figured band. Just to annoy Iraq, we just have Bobo on one line and Iraq on the other line. Yeah, but he's gonna hang up. He doesn't want to play, man. What the fuck's wrong with this kid? No. Maybe if he knows how much Roland's enjoying. What's up, it. Vic Kenley? Yeah, look at that. How you doing, right, man? Hi, Vic. We're, uh, there he is. We're ready to go to break, and then we're going to talk to you. Yes, we were just harassing one of our vacationing uh, employees. Yeah. Oh, wow. What lucky spot are they in? But he doesn't want to play oh, along. Yes. Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Hey, boys. Uh, if you want to get a hold of E-Rock, I think I can get a message to him. Uh, hang on a second. All right. <laughs> Your phone cut out, dude. It would have worked, uh, too, no, if he didn't, didn't do the wah, wah, wah. Jimmy, I've for four years, it didn't cut out. Sean, you should have confidence in that. That would have worked. <laughs> Wait, Ant's trying to call you wrong. <laughs> Do you have whale noises, uh, Travis? <laughs> You should be calling any minute. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's awesome. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> uh, making fun uh, of our fat coworker. Any, any, right, anytime you can come in to see mammals talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, our, our employee there, E Rock, is uh, on vacation and he won't answer the phone. And he is kind of a rotund uh, lad. Yeah. Uh, so we're just kind of making. Uh, Jokes about it. a fan of the raw mackerel. A fan of the raw mackerel. Yes, Smoked yes. fish is in his diet. Uh, exactly. Plankton. We don't Plankton. understand why he won't answer the Krill. phone. <laughs> Krill's always yeah. good. Yeah, we Krill. <laughs> but we don't understand why he won't answer the phone on vacation just so we could call him fat. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's eating because he's at Cracker Barrel stuffing his fucking face right now. That's exactly what, what he's doing. What the fuck? Why won't he let us do that? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, yeah, man. <laughs> you got well noises as we go to break? Uh, no, nothing? All right, that's fine. Uh, we kind of did it anyway. Well, Vic Henley's well up next. Song. We'll take a break. See what Vic's been up to. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, uh, Paul Bettany, right? Yeah. A little yeah. later on today. See Priest there. in 3D. You know, him. I was—I just was in the subway. It's a poster. Oh, he's okay. a priest in 3D. Priest. He's played like 70 Catholic priests in, in four movies. Very cool. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I—I—I I, I do have whale noises. You do. We'll end with some whale noises. I don't know. I'm not good. I don't know. I'm not good. I'm not good. I don't know. I'm not good. There you go. Oh whale noises. Oh the God. mysteries of the deep right there. Uh -oh. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> this is what the whales are saying. <laughs>
We have that bit. A little Brian Regan going He's into the break. Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> I love that one. Sorry, I'm uh, making Brian Regan. Travis is scrambling because we're uh-huh. thinking of four or five different things at this same time here. Yeah. It would work here. A little Brian Regan at the break. Oh, of course. That's perfect. It really is. Oh, oh that E Rock. I can't believe he's being so um, negative. He really is. You know, it's uh, you, you, when you when you're with the show, you're like a police officer. You're never really off duty. That's right. If you see the opportunity to be made fun of and called a fat a whale, a pig, uh, barnacles uh, g- attach themselves to you. You can't jet ski without only your head sticking out of the water. You need a rocket ship to go parasailing. Uh, you eat so much ice cream in your room that they run out of bowls at the hotel. For the rest of the resort. Uh, yeah, you eat krill. Uh, you, you don't pay for your room. You're traded. Uh, where people can swim with you. Don't forget the uh, other tourists lotion. can swim with you. Oh, the man- sun- lotion manatee right. with feet. Yeah, you get, uh, motor boats are striking your back. Oh, it's great. <laughs> and, and then uh, chunks out of your flesh. I, rumor has it he was so cranky because uh, yesterday when he went down the water slide tube, yeah. uh, it ended with a guy at the end with a giant plunger trying to <laughs> trying to clear the uh, the tube out. Like very Willy, difficult. In Willy Wonka when that fat thing got <laughs> stuck yeah, in the tube. I, I, yes, he's Augustus <laughs> Gloop in the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a water slide. Oh, and then the lazy river thing. They just renamed it after him, the E-Rock oh. River. <laughs> See, because he's lazy. Oh, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> I didn't get that. Yeah, I was a little muddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, uh, let's do this. A little Brian Regan. Oh, that's not fair. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, he went snorkeling and pilot fish attached themselves to his <laughs> underbelly. <laughs> Pilot fish. That's good. That's <laughs> Pilot fish are great. Uh, I love that. The airlines, I could be happy about that. When he comes oh, back my God. To New York. You know, when he's underwater swimming, to, uh, look at this. Crank is saying it's Hunt for Red October. <laughs> <laughs> Implying he's as big as a submarine. <laughs> what, are, what are the birds that pick stuff off hippos? Uh, that would be oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, one of those two. They just <laughs> land on his back along for the ride. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> Symbiotic. That's it. Yeah. Symbiotic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, try to get E Rock after the break. break. Maybe he's Please. calmed down. That would be nice. I'm a little distracted because I saw on the hotline they were trying to get E Rock on the phone. And yeah. We got another hang up. So that's your update another there. Another hang up. What the fuck? Just talk to us for a couple minutes, man. Can't work the phone with flippers. What, is, <laughs> <laughs> what a snot. What's he doing? Well, we might have him. We might have him, man. E Rock. Yeah.
I don't know. I'm not good. I don't know. Fucking man. <laughs> he just wants to enjoy his vacation. <laughs> He's in another country. <laughs> he needed a passport. Ten minutes of just fucking whale sounds. <laughs> Spencer K in Boston, moody dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually very soothing. It's very yeah, soothing. it was. <laughs> it's very soothing. Relaxing. I feel my. I feel, I, much I feel better. like I could take a nap I, right there. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah, and, and no one would play me. Go to sleep. <laughs> right. <It's> just, <laughs> Right. Wonder what I was saying to the Iraq. I don't know. I, he, he didn't want to respond. No, I needed a response. Yeah, we definitely need a response. It's like Star Trek. I got to bring him back and. Uh... You fucking can't even go with the bit. <laughs> no, what's wrong with this kid? The one time we don't want him to, ha we wanted to hang up. He won't. Right, yeah. right. The bit yeah. might have. Ah, the bit still killed though. <laughs> he was. Uh, Fuck. He was hanging in there. <clears throat> oh, oh, that Iraq. All that to get him on the phone just to fuck him. <laughs> He'll never come on the phone now. Never. He just wrote all of us. Oh, really? Glad you got a segment out of this. Heard it all, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, what are you going to do? Rock. Lighten up. Yeah, man. I what mean, literally, on? lighten up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, have a salad. Treadmill, anything. <laughs> lighten up. Oh, yeah. Kevin in Houston. Kevin. <laughs> hey, good morning, boys. <clears throat> oh, man, congratulations, Aaron says. You just won the most annoying 30-second contest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two grand. Uh, um, speaking of phone calls, Roland, you're in here now. Yes. Um, your buddy, E-Rock, is probably your best friend on the show, Correct. Yeah, I'll say that. I mean, I mean you guys sh share an office. Yeah. Uh, you go to lunch together all the time. That's correct. Uh, he asked you to be the best man at his wedding. Yes. You went to see Harry Potter instead. That, that, yes. Yes, that is correct. Uh, IMAX. However, and Troy should come down here. Anybody who had anything to do with this e rock thing can come and chat because he's on vacation this week. Yes. Uh, he gets a lot of heat on this show. A lot of, uh, he gets yelled at a lot on this show. Uh, he's on vacation. We got his hotel room phone number and started calling him today. As a matter of fact, there's Troy right now. Troy, you were phone screening today, and Opie actually said on the air, if you didn't hear any of this, you have to. This was my favorite part of the show, uh, 100%. Troy, was, was it yours? What's? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you and love doing this. Oh, yeah. Like, because I know... You're not necessarily the happiest person that all you get to do during the show is screen calls. But this brought me a lot of joy. So, yeah, I mean, because you, usually you're just taking calls from people and you're like, oh, I want to be doing something. I didn't think it was funny. You guys kind of cross the line when someone's on vacation. Okay, well, we'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely comment on that in just a minute. But today, today, Troy, your phone screening duties paid off? Well, it's one of those things where I was told by the bosses. Yeah. Your job today, Opie said, Troy... What are you doing not calling E-Rock back? Your job today is to call his hotel while he's on vacation. Get him on the phone. And get him on the phone. And that's what I tried to explain to Eric. Look, hey, I'm just doing what I'm told. Opie needs to speak with you. You need to get on the phone. Was he pissed when you talked? Oh, he was, he was livid. <laughs> was he? Like, well, first of all, I, when I called him, it sounded like he was sleeping. The first time. First time. <laughs> well, I would assume that the fact that he's on a tropical island on vacation for a week, and it was quarter to eight in the morning or so, you probably was asleep. But the, the, the buffet's open at nine. So, okay, so he might have been pre gaming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so he seemed pissed off that I called, and uh, he was just like, You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not going on there. I'm not. Like, see, at this point, E Rock has worked for the show for all these years. Did he not think that it was within the realm of possibility that we were going to call his hotel room while he was on vacation? Find him. Right. Yeah, of course we're going to. That's yeah. E Rock's whole job here. Unfortunate as it may be, I didn't give him the job, but the job that he has been, you know, grouped with is to be made fun of. Yeah. He did say a thousand a night, I believe. Yeah, he did. He went on the air and said a thousand a night. Uh, Travis, you, you vacation at, at Disney World a lot. Two thousand a night. Do you go a thousand a night? A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars a night? Yeah. 
maybe a thousand dollars for like the week. You try to you know budget. That's yourself. crazy. <laughs> what about you, Troy? A thousand dollars a night? Yeah, that's a that's a little excessive. But you know, he, he lives the high life. You know what I mean? Like he, he does he does very well for himself. So yeah, I mean he's in a completely different you know bracket. A tax bracket, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Oh, you're saying because he makes so much more than the rest of us. Exactly. Oh, okay. and Troy, you were saying the same thing? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I was, just, okay. I was just trying to uh, so clarify like, exactly what was being said here. Where the three of us might be going, like, looking for, uh, like, even, like, to splurge, go two or three hundred bucks a night for a splurge, to him, it'd be the same as going one thousand to fifteen hundred, maybe. Mm, it's like Motel 8 for four hundred a night. For okay, him. okay, I understand. Yeah, like, he probably didn't, like, search the internet for a half hour, like, looking for a discount code, you know? He didn't care. No. <laughs> like, it was out there, but he was like, but it's not worth the half hour of my time. Exactly. He's like, it's, that's neither here nor there. Whatever, <laughs> I mean, he just wants to go down and have a good time. That was the only thing on his agenda. And this morning, the only thing on your agenda was to make sure he wasn't having a good time. It, look, I, as I said before, the bosses told me to do that, and mm-hmm. I'm just doing what I'm told. Did you think you were going to... Because you ended up getting, getting him on for that second time. Right. I didn't think it was going to happen. Well, there was enough period of time that maybe he had thought that, well, something else, this may be somebody else. Yeah. That's what I think. And then... And then I, it was I you. Him, yeah. <laughs> and then it was literally like I would be going like this to Travis, like, tell them he's ready. Because I was so afraid that if he was waiting on hold for like... Five seconds, it would be over. Okay, be so gone. there was a strategy going on between you and Travis. Right. And then there was some communication, and then from there it goes to Danny, and then Danny... So you, know. you would keep him talking until you knew Opie was ready, so then you could put him on hold and Opie could pick him up immediately. Exactly. Uh, it, Sam did say he went down the slide, water slide, and caused a tsunami. That's <laughs> Well, all right, Roland, if you want to play games. Uh, Roland... I was sitting in my office while this was going on. I was, I was enjoying it, as I enjoy lots of segments on the show. I was shocked and sickened. Uh, Travis, did you enjoy the phone call? Oh, my fa- you, you guys were talking about how it was your favorite bit of the day? Yeah? Uh, week. Favorite, week. favorite so, bit of the week. I so think far, it was rude, and I called for it. So, Travis, that has your vote for number one on the countdown? I don't see there being anything to top that. I second that. And I that s- would include the... How long did, was Ant doing whale calls for? It was probably... Close to four minutes. I was trying to. I, I was trying to watch on the clock on the phone, and it was it was getting up there. And Iraq was on the phone the whole time. Yeah. Oh my god, that probably made him really upset. It was just it just went on so long. I was just fucking laughing my ass off. And Roland, yes. As we this guy like Troy, Travis, you guys know this. Roland and Iraq are, are pretty much best buds around here. Mm-hmm. They always go out together. They always you know hook each other up with stuff. They got each other's backs. They're office mates. You know, they are like... And I've said this before. You two are long-lost brothers. Have I said that to you guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, they play fight with each other. Everything. It's like they're long-lost brothers. Brothers from different mothers, you and E-Rock. Yeah. You're, you, you get to the point where you play fight with each other. You punch each other. You hug each other. You watch movies together. You play together. Everything. You guys are best friends. Pretty sure. much. Yeah. And so what were you thinking while... Iraq was getting made fun of. You said a minute ago, you were like, I, this is going a little too far. I, I thought so. Okay, well, the weird thing, Troy, Travis, Ron and Fez intern, the weird thing is I was in my office, which is next door to Roland and Iraq's office. Roland was in that office by himself because Iraq's on vacation. And I was hearing some very strange noises coming from Roland's office as Roland was listening to the show. Uh, so I went in with my microphone. You want to hear what uh, Roland's true... First of all, did he know you were recording him? Absolutely. I shoved the mic right in his face. Oh, okay. I mean, this is not a hidden mic. This is... I mean, I wanted to get the best sound possible. Right. And I knew Roland was going to try to quell the sound, to, to calm it down, but I knew that Roland was not going to be able to hold out because I'm a patient man, Troy. Right. And I will sit in there until that sound comes out. It didn't take long. You want to hear Roland's... Tr- Roland, is this cool? Your true... Reaction. Oh, is it cool? Do I have a choice? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> this is Roland as the E Rock phone call was happening. <laughs> this is disgusting. I'm sick of I'm <laughs> 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 
bad, bro. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> the ice cream. <laughs> That's the best thing I ever heard all week long. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Roman, you doing okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, you were drooling. Yes. There was phlegm coming up. You were crying. Jamaican Jimmy killed me. Yeah. Well, you know what he was doing? He was making fun of E-Rock for being super fat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. So, do you take back what you were saying before? Because you just said, I finally got an honest reaction out of you after, and that was, by the way, cut down from several minutes of me sitting in there with him laughing. You finally broke down and said, this is the greatest thing that's happened all week. It, it, was. it, it was. It was. It was hysterical. It, what did you like better? You're, you're, you're the talent booker, so it's in your best interest for interviews to go well. What, did you, what was more important to you, the Paul Bettany interview going well or what happened to E-Rock today? The Paul Bettany interview going well. So today was, I mean, with that, with, with the E-Rock thing happening, and with Paul Bettany going I well. I say Titus first. Titus first. Beautiful, Roland. Now, um, by the way, I'm looking at uh, the instant feedback here. Somebody feedbacked in, E-Rock at SiriusXM.com, location, vacation. And the message is, Sam, tried calling 10 a.m., no answer. Somehow, I don't think that uh, E-Rock is feedbacking in during his vacation. Was it about E-Rock not eating? <laughs> I was listening to that replay uh, coming in this morning yeah. with Jimmy just going, he's got ice cream oh. boy. <laughs> it, was, it was on this morning and I, I yeah. usually, I normally just listen to the news on the way in, yeah. but I had to get through that segment. The bulls? It, it was hysterically funny, just Bashing Iraq. Well, I had to deal with that last night. So. You did. Oh yeah. What yeah. the fuck did we do that for? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, call Jimmy, call in. Why do you have to always fucking call me with this shit? What do they want? Well, he started uh, calling, and for the first time in in probably ever, I was actually scared of Iraq. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'll tell him to his face too. Uh, so he was calling, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. So I would just like. Answer, hang up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. So I did that a couple times, and then he texts me. All he writes is, really? Oh. And then finally we talked, and I diffused the whole thing. I'm like, look, before you say anything, it turns out that that was one of the funniest things we've done in yeah, months. Yeah, relax. In months, so just relax. It wasn't like we harassed you the entire time you were no. down there. You know that was his honeymoon, technically. Oh, is so that what the deal is? So oh, is it? Oh. So we were fucking with him on his honeymoon. <laughs> it took like a you know a delayed honeymoon or whatever. Right. Oh boy. I feel better about it now. And then yeah, he exactly. wanted he wanted to bitch and complain and the whole time. I'm like, and when Jimmy was doing the Jamaican character and then and with the whale noises, I, it was just a bullet. And he couldn't say anything. Yeah. What's because then say? he's like, all oh, right. Well. Uh. And then Sam said that by the end of the night, he's tweeting references to the bit. Oh, he so was. he went from telling everyone to go fuck themselves. He told a lot of people around here to go fuck themselves <laughs> uh, to tweeting about it right. by the end of the night. So Was he, was he a little upset at first? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh like boy. I said, for the first time, I was scared to actually talk to him. That sentimental motherfucker cost us jokes. Do <laughs> <laughs> you see the pattern for today? <laughs> short motherfucker he goes, funny. did you give away my location? I go, no, no I didn't. I, I just said I didn't. I didn't. He goes, because they're... Because they've gotten a lot of phone calls that, you know, people are trying to harass us. I'm like, look, man, I don't have to tell you. I guess we made it pretty obvious, you know, where you're, where yeah. you're at. So they can't get to them, though. We've got a lot of uh, E-Rock material to cover today. Um, there's a big story going on, and we will talk about that. I talked to Opie in the hallway before this show, after Opie and Anthony Live, uh, to find out what happened. Because at the top of the show today... He said that he had a phone conversation with E-Rock just last night. I know that after the show, E-Rock was sending very rude messages to several different staff members. 
We'll get into all that. Uh, Roland, where's Troy? I want to talk Did to you. Did you see a special report on the news? What's that? The Bahamas just lifted up, so somebody just left. Oh! You're making Iraq jokes now. No, wanna... th- that's the one that Sam, uh, you wrote for me. I don't write jokes for you, Roland, because you can't read. So what good would it do? Wow. It just came out of the air. It hurts, doesn't it? A little bit. Troy's coming in here because, I don't know, and, and I mean, if Danny res- heard any word from Iraq, although Iraq doesn't talk to Danny, does he, Travis? Or Troy, do well, you know? Does, does Danny talk to? Does Iraq talk to Danny? I think they probably try to keep it as minimal oh. conversation between. Because anybody who heard from Iraq should definitely come in here. Because I hope uh, he has good travels and well. Yesterday's great time. Yesterday's show went rough, uh, as you all know, and we chronicled here on the nice after going show. Nice going, Sam. that shit up. I didn't stir anything up. Of Iraq. How? Hey, what nice did, going? Asshole. What did I stir up? You're an asshole for doing that. Are you, you're winking. All right. Well, Roland, you can say all you want, but it's all been on the air. And I still have the CD of you I played yesterday. So keep it up because uh, we're playing it again. The show is hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Iraq was called yesterday while the show was on. Iraq, as it turns out, he's not only on vacation. This is his honeymoon, as it turns out, which we didn't. Were you aware of that? I didn't know. Um, his wife was very angry at you. <laughs> at me? Yeah. Why me? She said, fuck Sam. Again, Roland, you're, you're twisting this thing. I'm just trying to get the facts out there for everybody. I'm so, trying to tell you the facts. Roland, uh, me. you were, you were here you. yesterday. Thank you. Uh, you were here <laughs> yesterday when uh, Iraq was called. Yes. Uh, you were the phone screener, Troy. Yes. So you were the one calling I him. I had to give the call. Uh, and all of a sudden, Iraq got very angry. In fact, more angry than any of us expected at that. Like, to me, I felt like what happened yesterday was not even as big as a lot of the stuff that's happened. Yeah. He got called. He hung up immediately. He got made fun of for about a half hour, give or take. Roughly, yeah. Then we went to break, did a little more. We called him back, and Anthony made whale noises for about four minutes. Which was hysterical. But Jamaican Jimmy is classic. You all loved what, what I was... I love him. Did you hear about what's going on with Iraq? <laughs> Talk to me. Because that's the other controversy, that Iraq. Uh, got, he's on vacation. Uh-huh. He's in he's in the Bahamas. Now, when you I say Iraq, do you mean Sex Bagel? <laughs> That's right. Okay. I'm glad that that name is picking up again. Yeah. Sex Bagel is on vacation, uh, and I guess it's his honeymoon. He didn't tell people. He just said vacation. We find out now it's his honeymoon. Right. We called him on the air yesterday, right. and he got really pissed at first. And Troy's our phone screener. At first, he wouldn't. At more, come at, on. Well, you know, from six to ten, phone screener. Okay. But uh, he wouldn't pick up the phone. He said, hello. Opie and Anthony said, hey, E-Rock. He hangs up. Opie and Anthony end up making fat jokes for about a half hour. Right. That's neither here nor there. So he calls. We call him over and over again. And then, Troy, you ended up calling him in the next segment because Opie said, Opie and Anthony both said what to you? So make sure you get him back on the air. They and said I, that I, was your only job, right? Right. I had tried once, and they didn't answer. And then Opie had commented on the air. Your job is to make sure that you get him on the air. So Troy being the good professional. professional. Yeah. He got him on the air. And E-Rock said, what do you guys want? And Anthony spent four minutes making whale noises into the megaphone. Mm. <laughs> megaphone? T- yeah, into the thing. <laughs> I didn't know that it was still called a megaphone. Well, Jimmy Hart always called it a megaphone. Okay. All I know All is right, what good. Jimmy Hart and Gorilla Monsoon call it. Hey, that's enough for me. Yeah. But uh, so E-Rock hung up and we all said, all right, we got E-Rock. We just thought yeah. it was another E-Rock joke. He started texting people and messaging people on this staff uh, immediately following the show all afternoon, telling everyone how pissed he was. that He said, I'm done. And what did he say to you, Troy? He, he, he said, fuck you. <laughs> now, did he say that by text or did he? Yes, he said that by text. Right, on so Facebook, you, on right? Facebook. I gave him fe- Facebook message. You me. don't know the way that that was in my mind, but like a friendly fuck you. Like, like fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't interpret it as that. I, I took it as he was really upset still. Like it was an attack. Yes. And then he told, and then he was on with Roland, who he was pissed off at because Roland was laughing at him. And mm-hmm. I recorded him laughing and played it. Um, he was all pissed that Roland was laughing at him. And uh, he told Roland, fuck all of you. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm done with all this. And we're all going, what happened? How can we have a 202? We don't have a 202. Without Sex Bagel. (laughs) Yeah, it's a good point. Sex Bagel is the virus. I mean, that's the whole thing. Uh, Opie, however, came to the rescue. Good. And E-Rock called him. 
uh, and Opie explained this at the beginning of ONA. Erock called him, and at first Opie wouldn't take his calls at home. And then Erock well, texted him. Be bothered. Yeah, and so personal time. Opie finally uh, talked to him. I want to play this clip because uh, I talked to Opie in the hallway because he just touched on the Erock thing on the air and moved on quickly. I didn't think that was enough Erock time, sex okay. bagel time. So this is uh, Opie explaining with Kenny, of course, what happened uh, with the sex bagel. You know what? Sam, does he have to? I mean, he doesn't have to. It's his deal, but I'd love to talk what, to Opie. What would you like to talk to him about? You know I want to talk about Erock. You know what? I, I will talk to the shit stirrer. What do you got? I'm not a shit stirrer. I'm a reporter. I'm just trying to get everything on the table for everyone to see. No, Sam, I agree about the shit stirrer. Well, nobody's talking to you, Kenny. The whole place is talking about how you're a shit stirrer. Listen. I don't, I don't even know if we're friends anymore. We are friends. What did you say to Erock to calm him down? Because he's messaging people yesterday talking like he's going to quit the company because you called him on vacation. You meaning the show, not you personally. And uh, all of a sudden, by the time the night comes, he's tweeting jokes at his own expense. Well, he called my house. Uh, I guess we, we uh, dealt with this on the show today, but he called my house a bunch of times, and I would just answer the phone and hang up, <laughs> that old trick. And then finally he texted me and just wrote, Really? And then I was honestly scared to talk to E-Rock for the first time, I think, ever. Why were you scared? Because I, I, I heard that he was motherfucking everybody. Yeah, he was. And I knew he was really, really pissed off. So I finally uh, just texted him, what's up? And he finally called me back. And I diffused it right away. I'm like, you, you're not going to believe how great that was <laughs> yesterday. People are talking about it. People are saying it's one of the best bits we've done in months. Oh, my God. And when Jimmy did that Jamaican the fucking character and put it over the top, it was unbelievable. And then the whale sounds when you uh, finally picked up later in the show and we just talked to you like <laughs> you were a whale with whale sounds. That was hilarious. The listeners are just talking about it like it was w unbelievable. And then he couldn't yell anymore. So you made it seem like he deserved some of the credit for that? Yeah, then he completely downplayed why he was calling. Like, oh, uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess it was all right. I, uh. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it totally twisted it oh. on him. Because when, when I got a hold of him, he wanted to just yell and scream at me and threaten to quit and all that crap, which I would have just said, whatever. <laughs> we'll just get another e -rock we could beat up. Because all day he was texting people and messaging people and saying how pissed he was. Do you think he was maybe overreacting? No, he was really, really pissed off. Because uh, we found out that this is like a delayed honeymoon. He's on his honeymoon, and we're calling him up uh, to bust his balls. And he did say that he had a late night of drinking and partying with his wife. So by the time we called him, he was only in bed for a few hours, and he was very hungover and tired. So He doesn't drink around us anymore ever since the paycheck incident, the oh. description of which is no longer in the system. I don't know what Iraq did with that file. Oh, really? He's deleting files, huh? We think so, because we can't find the description of the paycheck incident. The funny thing is, you got to get Roland uh, laughing again about this. Do you want to hear the uh, I, I heard it. The long clip? I heard it, but Roland came over to my apartment last night to drop off this really just crappy, boring documentary. <laughs> I won't even name the documentary at this point. But uh, we were going over the whole E-Rock bit at my apartment. <laughs> He was laughing so hard. I thought he was going to drop dead of a heart attack. And I'm like, aren't you E-Rock's best friend around here? Yeah. He goes, yeah, but it was hilarious. <laughs> he texted me yesterday out of nowhere and just said, ha, 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 listening yeah. to the replay. Yeah, he, he loved it. So you definitely got to get him on to just start laughing again because he, he laughs to the point you really think he's going to drop dead. All right, well, I'll let you get back to your business. But, yeah, I, I smoothed it over with E-Rock. He'll be fine. <laughs> Way to go. Until next time we beat the shit out of him and he takes it again. <laughs> so, I don't know what it was about magical Opie's words, but all of a sudden Opie talks to him and not only is E-Rock not pissed anymore, but now he's tweeting. Uh, he likes the ice cream and tweeting a picture of ice cream. Like, he's doing right. the jokes and being self-deprecating about it as if he didn't spend the entire day. Troy, what was it he texted you again? Fuck you. <laughs> and what did you say? I just said, why are you mad at me? Yeah, you said... You should be mad at the whole show. Yeah. And what did he say? I some bullshit response. Probably fuck all of you, right? Yeah. It's he's, uh, he's sick of it. This he, asshole. He, a big part of this is Sex Bagel knows that he's got the special delivery show anytime he wants, and that kind of leaves that door open for him. You know, like he he, he doesn't makes, need yeah, O and A. He doesn't need O and A because he's got another gig. He's got another full time gig. Full time for Saturdays. Well, for now. For now. For now. Have you heard things? I hear rumblings. Wow.
I put on a suit. I still look nice. I went to Nagel's wedding. And I look like a million bucks. You didn't look yeah. like a million. Compared to who? Him? <laughs> yeah. who? No disrespect, like, Derek. Uh, <laughs> you went to hear those fucking spats. Spats. Die. And hold on a minute. You went to a wedding where Eastside Dave tried to burn the place down. Yeah, that's right. As he was yelling, let's burn this motherfucker, motherfucker down. down. So the level wasn't that high as True. far as uh, <laughs> as goes. Respectability. Respectability. Thank you. Those shoes. You know what those shoes should come with? Black and white water fountains. They were Fucking horrendous. <laughs> 1950s. My fiance is trying to figure out how we can do a wedding without inviting Eastside Dave, but it's not. It's not a possibility. I don't think that's possible. Do you want him there? You I do. Dave. She doesn't. No. He'll, I mean, he'll burn the. <laughs> he tried to light Eric's wedding on fire, literally. Yeah. Like he put candles uh, and, and then, then he then, draped a tablecloth. And then he started them. throwing <laughs> furniture around, tables yeah. and chairs and. I think it was, out of his fucking mind. I think it was mind. hilarious because it wasn't my wedding. Oh, exactly. I would imagine it, if was it was absolutely hilarious. I would imagine if it... E-Rock, did you think it was hilarious or not? No, not at of all. Of course not. <laughs> it started <laughs> out fun and then went drastically you, you bad. You could see the transition because... Wow, Dave. Really? It <laughs> yeah. started out fun yeah. and then went horrifically bad. E-Rock mm. was filming it and laughing as, as, as Dave was singing Guns N' Roses. Like, oh, this is great. What a party my wedding is. And then all of a sudden he sees Dave drape a tablecloth over candles and he throws his camera away and runs, <laughs> <laughs> panicking. But then he was grabbing chairs and then scuffing it and throwing them across the dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> motherfucker! Just yelling, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a wedding. <laughs> what a jerk. Guy's brilliant. He doesn't behave himself. Yeah, no. shit. It's fun unless it's, it's not you. Oh, you should have had someone throw him out. What's wrong with you? It was it was it was one a.m. and uh, pretty much everybody was leaving and they were gone. So there was just a handful Dave of people was chasing up there. them out. They were frightened of a fucking Happy Land social club incident. <laughs> yeah. The Nagel family didn't like Eastside Dave. No, 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 no Eric's no. dad did. The, the Nagel family liked Dave. It was the uh, the oh. bride's family that was standing there ready to kill him. Because oh. they were in a shitty mood to begin with, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Watching were... her make the worst mistake of her life. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. No disrespect. Oh, how does this get turned around oh, on you? Oh, right. come on. I mean, they were... finally he... felt like he was part of the team. Yeah. You think I never they turned that. it on him. You think her family didn't like his shoes? No, no, yeah. They probably saw him on wedding day, and they were like, all right, let's make the best of this. And then they saw the shoes, and like, come on. Exactly. Oh, great. She's <laughs> marrying <laughs> Detective <laughs> Sam Slade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tweet the shoes later for everybody. They ruled. They didn't rule. They did, too. You know what those shoes needed? A fucking a, a garbage truck tire mark on them. <laughs> from your feet being... <laughs> They're very hurtful, Jimmy. You know Eric's competing in the physical fitness no, challenge. No, Eric ah, is not. Yes, he is. What? No, he is yes. not. He is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he competing with? A neutron star? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not possible. Why aren't you competing, <laughs> Eric? Because I wasn't asked. Bobo and called you asked. out. You're Bobo. being asked. And Good for fucking Bobo. Bobo called you out oh. and said he could do more sit-ups than you. Bobo, I mean, he gave us numbers. Bobo said he could do 470 sit-ups in a half hour. 470 <laughs> and a half hour. What's the record? I, I don't even think... Are they retard sit-ups or real sit-ups? Uh, he said well, he could do sit-ups. He's doing them? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Bobo said he could do 150 push-ups in a half hour, then take a break for Gatorade, and then do 470 <laughs> sit-ups in another half hour. Bobo's incredibly confident. <laughs> yes. And he's gonna, he, he said what he's going to kick the shit out of Eric, is what he said. Kick the shit yeah, out of Eric. Not just said. win. No, no, no. Kick the shit. He's going to embarrass and humble E-Rock, is what he said. I will Bobo humble you. Well, exactly. How many sit-ups? The sit camel clutch. 470. In a half hour? Yes. I will give him <laughs> a dollar for every sit-up he does at over 200. Over 200? How about a dollar for every sit-up he does... Over over three. No, but yeah, I'm saying over. if he does 470, I, th that's a nice day. I'll give him 270 bucks. Bobo is not going to do 470. I can't do that. <laughs> you're safe by saying I'll give him a dollar for every push-up he does over 20. Give him a thousand dollars for every push-up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how many? Give him a dollar for every push-up he does. Could you just see him there? He'll be like, uh, <laughs> uh, looking around for approval, like, uh, not being able to get his head off the floor. How many push-ups he said he could do? 150 in a half hour. In a half hour. Now let's wait. Let's go back to sit-ups. How many sit-ups? Four hundred and seventy. In a half hour. Yes. Okay. Well, this is not impossible because Jack Lalane did a thousand <laughs> in twenty-three minutes. So, so and Jack Lalane. Yeah. Did he do a thousand no, sit-ups? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's dead. He's God dead. damn, Jack Lalane.
What in an 23 asshole. minutes. That motherfucker was, was in shape. Uh, it doesn't say, but he was averaging 44.9 in a minute. I would like to see how many E-Rock could do if he now could the record For 23 ever- minutes he did that? The oh. record in an hour yeah. is uh, 2,200. 2,200. Which was set just uh, last month. I gotta By tell you. By Bobo. 60-year-old Bobo. Vladimir J-U-R-C-I-K. Your car. Vladimir, I do this sit-up and uh, win I can't do everything. them. The ONA Physical Fitness Challenge is going to be a bust unless E-Rock <laughs> joins this. He is. He's in it. E-Rock, what the fuck? You're in. No. Eric's going to kick Bobo's ass. Why? No, because I wasn't asked. This whole thing was set up on He's the in. subject. Like, oh, don't even bother. He's just going to do it. <laughs> I'm asking. I came him. back, and they're like, oh, guess what you're doing Friday? No, I'm not. Wait, E-Rock, we didn't ask you because we did not want to bother you on your honeymoon. Bullshit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bull fucking shit. You can call me with whale noises, but you can't kind of say, hey, you want to do sit-ups on Friday? <laughs> fuck both of you. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to well bother noise. you. We, you know, we, we didn't really want to bother you, bother you with you show with stuff when you're on your own. It would, it would have been a complete lack you of respect. Call me with whale noises. <laughs> whale noises. Could be the funniest thing E Rock's ever said on this show. Oh, <laughs> fucking, God. Gotta give it to him. Did you so eat unhealthily true. on your honeymoon? Or no, no, I actually. I, I uh, actually very well, except for the ice cream that I yeah, twittered. Yeah, bullshit. Twit picked ice cream. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> After Why would you do that to yourself? Because Why would you twit pick ice cream? That's what I tell uh, E-Rock off the air when we <laughs> have one-on-ones. I'm like, like you, you do doing? it to yourself. And then you say, why don't you play along with the bit? So oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh. So when Jimmy's... Look, Jimmy oh, had a really... Oh, oh, hey, what's this world coming? Too. Jimmy had a, re- and I gotta say, he had a really funny line while doing the Jamaican accent saying, the bowls were falling out the yes. door like marbles falling out of a closet. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then he kept oh. going, im like the ice cream. So Im. that's what I did. Yes. And I put him, I had them put him in martini glasses, just like the martini uh, steak, steak, steak things, and put it up on Twitter to say I was going that's with it. That's fantastic. Mm. All right. But you actually were eating ice cream out of a yeah, It was punch the way bowl. we ran out of martini glasses. <laughs> Im was eating out of the champagne tub. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And I don't. Why does he have a wow. Twitter name that's uh, seventy characters? You idiot. <laughs> Who is because that? What Bobo. an idiot. Well, because Bobo had to change his, his Twitter name now because we changed channels. Radio Bobo XM one oh five. But somebody took Radio Bobo one oh five before he could get it, and they started tweeting. All of us saying, just so you know, this is Bobo and this is my new Twitter name. <laughs> so, but room. there's this tweet I will beat E Rock in a sit up contest. <laughs> yeah, which is this poor guy, E Rock, is not That's Eric. not E Rock's Twitter I name. Know. Eric's E Rock Radio. So this, this, E-Rock E-Rock. E-Rock. this guy in Kansas City is like, who, who the yeah, fuck exactly. is, <laughs> <fuck> is <laughs> E Rock? Guy's a big Royals fan, just wants to go watch <laughs> fucking. Listen to Wilbur Harrison songs and go to Royals games. Uh, boo twice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> boo boo. Wait, did you say Minnesota and Royals in the same? No, I <clears throat> said Wilbur Harrison song. Well, uh, in Kansas City, here I come. Oh, okay. They got a lot of pretty girls, and I'm a gonna get me one. It's a good okay. song. Let's hear it. Good ditty. Why am I the only one picking songs? I, I want to hear I, the song. I now. agree, but he's looking up Kansas City under C. That's an old. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this. I, I don't really understand this physical challenge thing. Without E Rock, it's not a it's not E Rock's in. Yeah, we need E Rock. Wilbur Harrison. Harrison. We Harrison. have it. E Rock, if we ask nicely, will you do the thing Friday? I yeah. got the song. Uh, we'll play wait, it. No, we'll no, talk. wait. Will Will you do the contest if we ask nicely? No, because this whole thing was sold son of a bitch and <laughs> done it. before do even uh, asking me, or they just said, "Oh, guess what." you're doing it's already done deal no so so how do we t- uh, change that seven dollars <laughs> some kind of action figure oh yeah what we'll take the comic i'll buy you about whatever you want action maybe figure we give ah. you, maybe we give you some pocket money pocket money <laughs> to about, buy an action figure should we give you some pocket money how about if you beat bobo bobo's banned from the show huh? whoa oh. <laughs> Or if you beat uh, Bobo. You know you can beat Bobo. And you get an Undertaker toy. <clears throat> oh. Uh, no. How about if we beat, if you beat Bobo, we have to be nice to you. And if, we, if we're if we not long? nice to you, I don't know. I, I'm not How do we do yet. that? Yeah, right. I don't know. How do we do <laughs> no that? I how that's but, done. But then maybe there's a little penalty if we're not nice to you. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, we could work out some oh. shit here. Oh, like true. a curse jar where you put money in if you curse. Pocket money. You got to put pocket, pocket money, money in money. every time you make fun of your You have pocket money at the <laughs> end. Because what happens is he goes to all these conventions <laughs> and, he, and he goes out <laughs> finding all the different treats that everybody has. And before he knows it, all his pocket money has gone. His pocket money? <laughs> that he was saving for action figures. Every time yes. he saves his money up. Well, what it, what up ends up happening, E Rock, that you don't have enough pocket money for your action figure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was never that case that I <laughs> ran out of money. <laughs> because you found the Transformer that had the cassette tape deck in it. Yeah, but it was have... also $180. And and you I was didn't like, have I'm not enough paying for that. Money. That's a lot of pocket money. You had spent all your pocket, your pocket money irresponsibly money. before. No, I spent <laughs> it getting <laughs> shit signed by, you know, celebrities. He over buys there. other treats. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very short sighted when it comes to his pocket money. And so when he sees something later in the Day that he'd like, he's already spent it all. He what about does food? love treats, doesn't he? He loves treats. What he's about a very food? indulgent young man. <laughs> Is there food at those? Uh, at yeah, those but you things? don't eat the food at those things. Oh, yeah, the food's don't. not good. What do you starve? No, no you, you just yeah. don't eat there. It's... Are you going to Comic Con in San Diego? No. Oh. Wow. All right, well, you? Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, Iraq will be part of the only physical fitness challenge <clears> on Friday. Yeah. And I appreciate the uh, the backwards compliments E Rock gave me on the ten o'clock. Oh hour my yesterday. God! It wasn't did even he pound you. It wasn't no, even that was a, a compliment. I don't think so. He what said it with venom. Watch, what was it? What did he say? There was some nasty stuff said about you yesterday on that fucking this, post game. This is the uh, go ahead. I love pre Sam. Word Robert's for life. word. What do you? How do you <laughs> describe me? <laughs> Here comes the pre. <laughs> Here's E-Rock, everyone. Oh, great. I don't remember. I, I, no, I, I, remember no, I, I was, did. I just don't yeah. remember I was, what I said. I was sitting there, and I was saying, um, did I make fun of it. people? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Sam tried uh, taking a po uh, page from Opie's book. It wasn't what I was trying to do. You're the one who brought exact, up Opie. The same speech he's given to me and to you. Where <laughs> He's he never says, given that speech to me because he oh, doesn't bullshit, treat me he like he too. treats you. He's like, this is exactly what was happening yesterday. And then, but, 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 uh... <laughs> But Iraq really kind of put you in a bad light because I wasn't going for that. I just said That's I make okay. fun of people I care about, and then Iraq goes, "Yeah, like somebody else who sits in that seat." Yeah, and yeah, go, that was it. Where did that come he from? He was saying word for word the exact same thing what, that Opus said to I've me never and said that. to him. I've never heard it. And what, what is was it? a word for word? <laughs> what is it? It was that look. He's I make fun of you and because I like you. And it, 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 and I cut him off and I go, that's the same thing that Ope says to us. He's panicking. That you're saying to me. Can you get the clip from right your now. show, Sam? You bet I could. The shit show? He is a panic. Because he can't peak. do it in front of me, the pussy. But he, he said is. it when I would fuck it was in Kenny's car. And he said and it was now venom. he has a chance to say it uh, to my face. And once again, he backs down. He's now panicking. say it. Say it. Come Stick on. up for yourself Come for on, once. puss boy. Say it. Hang on. Let me find puss the boy. Come on, puss boy. He's going to find the clip? It was right at like uh, it was close to the beginning. What? No, it was right before the scorch bit. I guess it must have been. <laughs> See, I would be proud of him it. if he said it to my I'll face. I wouldn't yeah, even be it. mad. Okay. What frustrates me about this kid? He doesn't fight his battles. No, right. he doesn't. The Nagelmeister can't find it. You want I'll me to pull you. it? The Sam, <laughs> Sam takes shit very well. I'm breaking Thank character you. right now. Believe it or not, Troy Kwan takes shit very well. He takes it a lot. He knows how to fucking battle back. Mm. Yeah. E-Rock yeah. fucking doesn't questions. take shit well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have questions. You know, it's questions. No, I'm just I saying. questions. Choice passive-aggressive. Hey, look, if you want to believe what the government tells you because, uh, you know, you're a piece of garbage, it's fine. So, <laughs> what, uh, so what do you believe? I don't know. I just have questions. Well, and then and then you come back at him with well, the what facts. what do you believe? He goes, do you believe it? <laughs> you go, well, yeah, he's yeah. smart with yeah, it. Oh, Answer yeah. a question with a question. He's got quite do the they? spin. Do they? Do they? That's yeah, a, yeah. Do, do they? Do they? Do they? Yeah. Do they do that? But Why? Because because that told you, and he points yeah, yeah. to the TV. Because yeah, that yeah, told yeah, you. Yeah, that told you. What? Well, then, what do you believe? I don't know. I, I just, just say I have questions. I find All right. And he also says I, non-committal I, shit. He says I find him entertaining. <laughs> I, I find uh, it entertaining. Uh, yes, yes. I disagree with uh, Troy, but I respect the fact that he tries fighting back. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. That's I'm like E Rock. You're saying yes. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad if he said it to my face what he said on the show yesterday. Oh, oh you got it, Travis? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, Travis couldn't wait. Travis, big smile on his face, yes. comes is, in with a diss. This, and this will prove my point. E-Rock could not yes. say this to my face live. Right. But yesterday when I was long gone, look how confident <clears throat> yep. he is. I was in, driving in home, what listening to, to what I call the and shit this hour. Is, this is uh, fair. Yeah, see, see, no. see. And this, not, what? Oh, not, shit. I told you. No. What happened? I, I I gave you something different. That's something else. Oh, that's something else. Wow. Oh, okay. What is this? What's that? Wow. Just play it. 
that this this is uh, this is for Troy. Oh, oh, for Troy. Oh, oh, oh for Troy. Troy's new thing. Troy's new thing. You'll enjoy it. It's not what you were prepping. Well, you're gonna get the other thing. We yeah. should get the other thing. Get the other thing. You know, you know, you know, you know. I don't no, trust no, anybody. No. There has been an attempt on the life of President no, Kennedy. No, I want to see the body. No, no. <laughs> there is an agenda no, with no, our government. No, no, We've been lied to no, before. No. Do you know for sure? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little hard to believe. You know, I don't no, trust anybody. No. You know, you know, you know, you know. Is it the truth? I don't know. <laughs> that is That's like fucking great. Classic That's Troy. Great. Oh, oh, is that Stop. classic Troy? Fucking bravo. I want to uh, know who molested that poor sweet boy. Oh, I know, right? And wiped his fucking trust blackboard clean. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's flow chart goes to molest every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just amazing. <laughs> only, no, only if he's you so have some weird quirk, that means you were touched. You were only, touched. always. Only yeah. because he's so... He's, only, he's, only always. No, only because he's so... Um, he's so uh, untrusting. untrusting. Yes, he's very untrusting. You know those Venn really? diagrams where it's two circles and then there's like the... When they, when they intersect... When they intersect... And where they intersect, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, if there was a graph of Jimmy, there's a huge area in the middle that says molested. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, barely any sticking out from the other sides. <laughs> it's virtually one circle. Yes. <laughs> the shit squad is working on finding that clip from the shit hour. From the shit hour, right? Oh, now you got a shit squad? Yeah. That's my staff. That's wonderful, Sam. Shit mo squad. <laughs> shit mo squad? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you right now, you backstab me, I'll fucking shoot you. What? Oh, That's where damn, I'm at in my life. Jesus. Yo. I'm done with backstabbing damn. motherfuckers. You what should, if, even if he doesn't. I will, I will shoot you. What if I just backstab a little? Like, I just take yeah, shots here I and will there. fucking shoot you. What because if he ass-stabs you with his tongue and cock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with pieces of shit that used to work for this show backstabbing. I'll tell right, you one right? thing. It was refreshing <clears throat> to actually hear a clip from our show between uh, it 10 and 11. Yeah, it doesn't it was happen refreshing. that often. I uh, usually hear uh, Sam Roberts. Yep. Right. Talking with various members of uh, the staff. Here's what I heard uh, in Kenny's car yesterday. Uh-huh. Iraq knew I was long gone. Yeah. Long I gave gone. Him the, I gave him the opportunity to do it live in front of my fucking face today. And once again, he disappointed me. Of course. Because he can't fight this shit. Pusses out. Right. And when he <laughs> rocked, you know, I wouldn't be mad if he if he fucking Come said on, it to my face, believe it or sake. not, because that's what I want from this fucking kid. <laughs> yeah! Fight back, right. Throw Just some fight the fuck back. Fight back. I forgot where your balls. But here it is from yesterday when I was long gone. Okay. Iraq, you know firsthand, and Roland, you do too, that the ones I care about are probably the ones I treat the worst. Yes. I mean, the ones that yes. I have the most hurtful <laughs> things to say, Eric, mm -hmm. and those are the ones I mm -hmm. care. I like Eric. I like Roland. I say horrible, hurtful things about them. You Sounds do. like a speech from somebody else, but go ahead. What? A speech Whoa. from who? Oh, Where Opie? Where you're standing. You think Opie <laughs> says that? I think you're, you're citing word for word the same shit that he says. Oh! When oh. Yeah, you know, oh. I like you, but, you know, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> no! That's not what I was getting at. <laughs> True. <laughs> Is it? Opie Jr. He said, that, he said that to you. He said that to me. He's never said that to me. He treats yes, me he very has. well. Oh, yeah, right. He does. Um, for instance, when he named the show The Shit Hour, he treats me great. <laughs> see, there you go. Wow. But he can do it live. He no, fucking, you. see, now I the way you I'm described it, let me tell you something. The way you described it today, live during this show, was nothing <laughs> compared to how fucking, like, venomous. Venomous, yes. There, there was, was venom, real man. venom, real anger. Where'd the fuck you come from? Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. The way True. he talks, like not even saying his name, the exactly. way he talks. He didn't even want to say Opie because he was disgusted. The right, guy right. who stands you there, know. No. fucking Opie. Yeah, that fucking dick. Yeah, yeah, we heard it. <laughs> yeah. right, let's get, to, let's get to, to the, whatever, I'm fine with that. It's it's too bad you can't do it live, though. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Chicken shit. Listen to me. Ooh. Uh, chicken Listen to me. shit. Ooh. E rock oh, when, you're on, when you're on your honey, honeymoon and unfortunately you got, uh, you know, interrupted. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, <laughs> some saying uh, bit for forty minutes. Yeah. Some saying, oh, some oh, saying, man. some saying, bit of the year. Ooh, we'll have wow. to wait and see if that becomes saying bit of the that's year. That's fucking. Again. But I want to. I want you to rank who you're mad at the most. Top Me, to bottom. Jimmy, oh, or Ann, wow. from top, from bottom to top. Yes. What a loaded question. 
Bottom to top, so the least angry first. Least angry first. Least angry. As far as that whole bit goes, and and why? Hold on, can and, we, and the why? I, I already can know we, the list. Can we? Can and we, the whys. Don't say it. Let me. Let's write it down. I guarantee Jimmy fucking skates oh, on this one. This let's is write great. It down. Even Everybody. though he came up with the Jamaican character. Oh, but you make a list too. Everybody make your list. Everybody make a list. <laughs> least, least to most hated. Yeah. Yes. All right. Least to most. No. Well. Least or, to most. So least. Let's, one, two, three. All right, yep. but right, right, will right. Go from yeah. Yep. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. And know. it's just the host. The Hold three. on one second. Yes. Put my coffee there. Oh shit! Thanks, Roland. No, don't throw it at me. Uh, no, no, no. I in the garbage, <laughs> and you know what? Like, of course you do it. Such a prick. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> of course it was, because I know he would with his big wrists. <laughs> Fucking train pulling wrists. <laughs> he says, That's Roland has accidentally smothered a child wrist. <laughs> Those big meat hands. Like, what do you know? They are. He is a, from the, especially from the back, he looks like the fucking warden from uh, Midnight Express. And from the front. Yeah, it does from the front. Yeah. You beat, beat somebody's feet with a <laughs> stick while this big fat kids look on. I know. I just want to put a flower in someone's hiney. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, right, we're ready. I, I have. We're uh, ready. Yes. Third place. Let's see if he's Third got balls. Third place. The one well, he that doesn't uh, uh, that you don't hate as much, based on overall what, or based no, on recently. No, no, no it's based thing. on the bit, based on the interruption of your honeymoon. Who do you blame ah, okay. the most and, and, oh, I and is mad was, at the most? I, I say thought overall. it was just overall. Overall, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I, I want to do the bit. But, okay. but, but was the, Jimmy even here? It only, of course yes, it was. Yes, he did the Jamaican character. Oh, right, okay. I thought you were absent that then we day. Could no. do, then we could do part two. That's fine. Great. Um, but the bit, though, because that's gotten a lot of fucking uh, legs. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Uh, least pissed off. Number the least three. Would be Jimmy. Of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jimmy just fucking, he's taking right. a victory lap. Of that's course. right. right. Why? The champ. He beat the shit out of you. But his characters. Jimmy because he did it in character. No, because Jimmy treats everybody like that. It was uh. no different than what he would do if I was standing in there. And, and oh, and so you're saying me. he makes fun of everybody equally? He doesn't just pick on you. He'd do that to anybody. There's no racial bigotry here. <laughs> we do not look down on niggers, kikes, wops, or greasers. Here you are all equally worthless. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> Uh, oh man, now I want to see who number two is. Yeah, number two. I already know it. Which we will know then what number one is. Oh That's right. right. So yeah. should we should we announce the winner or so the you runner? Might up? as well go the, the no, announce the winner. So announce the runner, runner up, up and do, then the winner do celebrates. Pageant fucking yeah. Yeah, okay. pageant rules. Okay. Oh was wait a minute, wait. I made a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> motherfuckers! I fucked up. By the way, my list is intact. Still, is yours? Uh, my list yeah. intact. Whoa. Was your list intact? You had no doubt that he wasn't mad at you. Well, I, I changed. I wrote it down wrong, but my list is exactly what it was. I are you still in this game? Oh, I knew it was. Did I, you pick you as the third? I, I did, and bo- yes, I rewrote my. Here's what I wrote. Sam can see. Yeah, I wrote me, and then I wrote that, that but I actually just wrote that down wrong. You're that lovable. Was I meant to write. All right, go ahead, Iraq. This okay. is we're going with runner up now. <laughs> runner up pa- pageant rules. Runner up. Is going to be Opie. Oh! There it is. Which makes Whoa! me the most annoying. annoying. And there it is, kids. And I had it I too. I had it. I had it. I was it. convinced it was me. Nope, I, I had, had it too. It. I had it. I lose. Wow. I had it too. Well, yes. That, that's I a shock. as well. I why, knew it. Why... All right. Why, why do you hate why Anthony did I get so the, much? No, why didn't I get the top spot and then you have to go with it? All right. <laughs> Well, that's the, that's the same answer. Um, if why you didn't get the top spot and why Ant is number one is because Ant gave out where I was. <laughs> no, you weren't staying at Fat Lantis. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the way he gave it out. Not only did no, he give did out I your location, it was the you way said, he gave it out. You said oh, Fat Lantis. Terrible. The way he gave it out, yes, hurtful. But he gave it out. So when he, the last yeah. call you guys did, and I heard whale sounds, where I put the <laughs> phone over the balcony and just walked out of the room. Oh, oh. You didn't know that? No. That's uh, even better. I came back later that day with a message to contact the front desk of the hotel. Oh, boy. People were calling for about an hour after you guys were done with talking to me. 
trying to find what room I was in, trying to get connected to me. They thought there was an emergency that so many people were trying there to call. There was. We wanted yeah. you on the program. It was also the way you gave out Fat Lannis was... Opie saw somebody on the phone line that could guess where it was, and Opie goes, I, "Yeah, I I, he was like, I uh, no, we can't go to that one." And then you said, <laughs> "Why isn't it obvious, Fat Lantis?" <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Hence, shitster. Oh no! I'm just no. reporting. It was all on the record. You anyway. got some T-shirts well, in the future. Uh, it was all on the record. It might have slipped out. It was an accident. Yeah, that was an accident. But overall, though, how about not just with the bitch? Round two. Overall, here's overall. round two. Great. Let me get the uh, sheet again and um, make see. your overall lists, everybody. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Here is overall hmm. on the actual just yes the show. Um. Uh. Who. Even in life. Who don't in like. In life. In life. life. I mean. Do you need time to think? We could always have a moment of music. Do you need some music, E-Rock? He's, him and Troy are arguing. There's a good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. <laughs> a naughty boy's phone and his good boy's phone. I sing that sometimes for no reason. Everybody I does. I walk around the house <laughs> singing that goddamn song. A naughty boy. Well, because he has a good... You have to dip when you sing it, not to dip. He has a good... You have to go like this. Should I get this on film, too? No, I won't do it on film yet. It's not ready. Yes. Eventually, I will, but I'm not ready yet. All right, all right. No problem. He has a good boy phone and his naughty boy's phone. And you have to, like, robot the... Yeah, you gotta kind of... You do a little dance, and your head kind of tilts sideways. It goes down a little bit, then up a little bit, the robot down a little bit. I I see what you're doing there. He has a good boy's phone and his naughty boy's phone. And you have to do robot movements. (laughs) (laughs) With the phones in each hand. Yes, you do. One in each. Looking at each phone as you... Pick out the good yeah. boy phone and the naughty boy phone. And the beauty is that people really do start singing that. Yes. And that's the only reason I brought it to it's the show. so annoying. Was to get it in everybody's awful head. Oh, God. <laughs> you're, you're good at that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so best. terrible, isn't it? I the thought best I was at it. I thought I was an asshole. Jesus. Oh, he's the best. I told you, <laughs> the, my, my manager is, is, is so OCD, I knew it would get to him. And he's like, hey, hey, hey. my wife just yeah. asked me when I was singing around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, sorry, Rock. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead, E. Number three. Number three. The least hated person. <laughs> Jim Norton. Yay! Whoa! Yay! Of course. Pudding! Why is that? Of course. Check mark there. I got that. Again, same answer. Jim does what he does, and Shut it's up! never any different. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's uh, it. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, right, Jim is, uh, is what he is. I'm also seen as less of an authority figure by Eric. Oh. oh, I'm I'm because even though what happened to me being one of your fucking heroes, asshole? That went out the window. You let him down, Hulkamania. <laughs> but that's <laughs> I was I was fucking top five. But that yeah. he expects more out of you. I'm like I want to know. You know what? I also want to know. It's not disrespectful to you. Who was it? Was, who was on his top five again? Hero it was list? Hulk Hogan. Oh, oh God. your dad, my me. dad. <laughs> yeah, that's the only three I remember. And I laughed, and he got so pumped. Oh out my God! Laughed. I think he started so, tearing up a little bit. So who replaced me in the top three? Jesus. Yeah. Who's now Anybody. in the top three? Your dad, Scott, Gary, yeah. Steve Blatter, <laughs> is, Danny, is, Sam. It, <laughs> is Hulk Hogan still in the top three? No. Why? Oh, TNA? The Hulkster yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah. got thrown out. <laughs> All right, who's your top three then? Obviously uh, your dad. I or, even or am I in your top three now? It's all right. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I haven't put this the, onto the hero list anymore. Hold on. After the break, you got to come up with your top three hero list. Okay. Because that was a big thing as so far as the show saying, goes. Papa John. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's Papa John, uh, Little Caesar. Duncan Hines, <laughs> Colonel Sanders, Sarah Lee. And Dominic Inno, <laughs> known as Dom. <laughs> No, you know, here's what it is. Eric expects more out of open amp because you guys are like oh. like parents or authority figures. I'm telling you, you just I'm not can't seen do as no wrong. But he's well, also, that's true in life. But I mean, I'm not seen as an authority figure. He's also saying that you make fun of everybody equally, which he hasn't said, but implies that the others make fun of him more than they do uh, Ooh, oh, anywhere else. That is a good implication. Right. Yeah, number yeah. two overall. Who fucking number him. two? Here it is. Number two. Anthony. Oh, ah! shit! 
which makes Opie number three. There it is. I was wrong. Right there. I was wrong. The whole thing picked out perfectly. I knew it. I was wrong. Oh, I I could read E Rock like a book. It's perfect. I went from. I went from being a hero to a to a zero to a goat. <laughs> what a fall from grace! Say, yeah, you. that really is. That really was a You're fall from grace. You're the most hated Number person one. in Iraq's mind. Wow. Iraq oh, hates you. He put you with, by Hitler and Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> he used to put you with his dad. I know. Yeah. I know. And what the, the fuck? The Hulkster. <laughs> no, like, wow. Uh, now I'm. I'm barely oh, in third place I know. among the show. You're oh, six shit. levels behind the International Monetary Fund guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to explain. Okay. How come you hate Opie so much? Yeah, why do you hate Opie? What happened? Yeah, well, what's up with the hate, well, man? Let's go with Anthony first. Oh. So, okay, so whatever happens here on the show, Anthony directs his, uh, his barbs right at me. Yes, yeah, true. Fine. But the second he leaves here, I do don't exist in his world. <laughs> <laughs> Holy I'm not shit. an afterthought. Wow. He doesn't follow me on any kind of social network. <laughs> Wait, uh, you're, talking about, you? you're talking about Twitter. No. That hurts. I don't follow you on Twitter? Nope. Ouch. I honestly Never thought have. I did. You even follow Never me. Have. Wow. You banned me. <laughs> I blocked you for the photo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, E Rock, I'm sorry. No, I don't t- follow I actually me. thought no, I followed I you. I asked no. him why you didn't follow him, and you were like, it's just boring tweets. <laughs> <laughs> it's all food. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, see, now I do feel bad because that's like real life stuff, oh, not man. like on the show shit. But is again, it true? I don't exist in your world the second you leave here. Is that that's true? So it's not inconsistent. That's not true because we talk about you. <laughs> oh, Boba Fett, yeah. <laughs> no, Boba Fett. He reads the tweets. He sees God them. God damn it. What is your oh, Twitter, Iraq? I have to follow him just to block him. <laughs> what is your Iraq? Yeah, that's even fight. worse. You followed Sam to send him a, a nasty message and then blocked him. I'm not even followed. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> what is your Twitter? What is your Twitter? Because... Iraq Radio. Iraq Radio. Damn, you just got some followers today. Blocked. Let me. Uh, I got some blocks. Let me get that Look at because. That, uh, man. Wow. Mm-hmm. E-Rock Radio. Put it right here. How I, but I've seen your... Probably when retweeted by people. Oh. Or in studio when we brought it up. Oh. Right. Gosh. Right. Let me see E-Rock Radio. There, there it is. E-Rock Radio. It's been all this time. Oh. You didn't even know, though. Oh, you, like, my God. You didn't God. even realize. You didn't see his tweets. Because I don't exist. I, he, I doesn't, don't, he doesn't think I about you. I don't exist. So if Follow. he doesn't exist, he should be the, on the top of your list. There you are, following... I'm fucking not following you. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, your count stays the same. You pick, pick one either. up and you lost one. You pick up an ally, you lose an ally. Well, you say he hated either. either. So. The fuck? Wow. I would like to know why he hates Obi so much. How can I not be following Iraq? Because he had some good tweets. Like this one, at Trucking James. Nope. Was accurate. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Is the cake boss on your hero list? <laughs> Ugh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rip off. Yeah. Whoa. I agree. Oh, let's uh, see. My, my fucking sister could take that motherfucker down. And maybe that's what you're And your you. mom. That's No, I'm, she can take down my mom. What? She can take down my mom. With that dry ass cake your, your mom <laughs> sent in? <laughs> she did I meant your kidding, mom could take down the cake boss too. Oh, okay. But not, Iraq, not Martha Stewart though. Iraq doesn't tweet she, much. She can't take down nobody. You don't tweet I much. I try not to. Like I, I do once in a while, but I'm you guys good. always complain about people that tweet a million times. Well, if it's you know pertinent. Yeah. I have nothing pertinent. No. Oh, fuck, I hope I didn't talk over that. That was a good one. I have what nothing happened? pertinent. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm, I'm not good. It's one of the best fucking audio grabs ever. <laughs> it really there you is. go. Iraq, now you're in my life Uh-oh. as a as a tweety guy. Please just do nothing but overtweet and annoy him the last, <laughs> next couple days. I'll just block him. Yeah, <laughs> prepare to be blocked. No, 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 no. I, I, I now uh, I'm, I'm following the Iraq. Okay, so I'm kind of irrelevant to you. Anthony hurt your feelings because you felt like you weren't a part of his life or his psyche. But didn't hurt enough to make him number one. Right, but Opa so all of a sudden... a real motherfucker. Opa all of a sudden is a log in <laughs> shoes. What right. happened? So what, you, what, what you're implying is that Opie, on the other hand, does pay attention to you, and it's so bad... Negative. ...that you made that so negative, yeah. You, could you yeah. ring that bell there, that please? You, oh, oh, shit! And the other Give thing, too, that, he, that Opie picks on E-Rock way worse... 
than uh, everybody else. On like, and off he'll air, look past, he's implying. He'll I, uh, look past other people's shortcomings right, right. and then just attack Eric. It's this, what Eric's saying. This is wow. weird because I'm not the same negative person I used to be. I didn't think so either. Yeah. But you've taken all that negativity and, put, and just put, put it, it on one, guy. one focal point like a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Go ahead, E. Well, no, he, he pretty much uh, nailed it where... You leave and say I I meet you for dinner or something. Oh. Everything that I do around Opie is detailed and documented, if not videotaped when I wasn't paying attention, and then gets brought up to the show. So you're saying that when Opie... I'm, I'm socially awkward. I don't know how to have friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Why are you socially awkward? Huh? You're a nice guy. But why are you mean to Eric? If he loves I'm, you so much. You, you were his hero, and you took that I, opportunity to I'm, be mean to him. I'm mean to Eric uh, because I want him to be tougher. I want him to have tough skin. But it's not working. It's just not a lot of it. <laughs> not at all. He needs positive reinforcement. He needs scaffolding at this point. <laughs> positive reinforcement. You yeah. better be positive the floor's reinforced. Yes, we understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Eric's got a sad face, and he's eating his breakfast. <laughs> oh, my sweetie. <laughs> What's in that wrap? Is it a healthy wrap? No. It's toast. Oh, oh okay. Toast with oh, your hand strawberry jelly. I get, Jesus. I get frustrated that e -Rock doesn't have tougher skin and doesn't fight back. Oh. Yeah. So, so you're just mean to him I'm to mean. try to make him stronger. Yeah. Like naming a, uh, your son Sue would be a thing, like a boy named Sue. Yeah, yeah. Like that. I just exactly. did it. The song says I just did that because I knew yeah. I wouldn't be around all the time and yeah. wanted you to be a stronger guy. So you wanted him to, 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 you wanted him to thank you for the, uh, the, the gravel in his guts <laughs> and the spit in his eye. Yeah, yeah that's right. As uh, Johnny Cash said. <laughs> Eric, do you buy that? I was a lot thinner when I started this show. Oh, you're oh, blaming me for oh, your weekend? Wow. Get the fuck out of here. Ah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Is your radio show making you fat? <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you at 11. Get the he fuck out of here. He tell you on the 10 o'clock news. Oh, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jesus he's time. kind of blaming you. You're blaming kind me for of. your fucking waking? No. I, that, Do you think all, you'd have been a spelt man show. if you had a different job? I think so. Do you think the stress of this job kind of makes you uh, no, I just think, seek comfort in uh, I just food? I think the environment of this show. But the you also, you didn't answer whether or not mm. you I'm think... I'm not saying that it's not my fault that I gained this weight. Do you think Opie's being right. truthful? Two. two. Wait, two. Oh. You're saying it's not your fault that you gained that weight, too. So you are shifting. You are you are sharing I'm responsibility. I'm not saying you forced, like you force fed me while, yeah. I, while I was e working Iraq, who, who complimented <laughs> you on the, uh, on the uh, honeymoon bit, saying how great it was? <laughs> All right, do we have to get back into the, uh, I, you know, I, I fuck with the people that I like? <laughs> I compliment you, though. We had a nice talk. and he then I not believe what you're saying. I compliment yeah. you, saying how great the bit was and how He's everyone everyone thought it was uh, a great bit and could be bit of the year. Do you believe Obi's trying to toughen up your skin? When I'm talking, I go, what the fuck are you calling me on my honeymoon? You go, that was bit of the year. Do you know how many people love that? <laughs> <laughs> Deal with us fucking up your honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of resentment there. A little resentment. I think a lot. Yeah, a lot. Mm. There's some. What do you resent the most? I don't know right now. I'd have to think. But just think. 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 That's why we're... <laughs> what, <the> <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> I was rolling doing whale noises. Rolling. <laughs> rolling can't get enough of that bit. Oh, what, God. Where is Roland? He's yeah. in it. He's oh, is he's Roland like it. when Eric's weight is made fun of? Yes, because then it takes attention off of his weight. Ooh. Roland, get close to a mic. Come here. And I don't mean to make you perform, but just do a little bit yes. of the Jamaican character so he could hear it. Hello? A little yeah. bit of the Jamaican character. No, no, I mean Jimmy. Oh. Uh oh. Just a little. Um, e Rock blaming Opie because he was so fat ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that's like blaming a crowd because it rains. <laughs> he laughs like a oh, whale. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he laughs, laughs like a whale. Fucking. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Can we take a break now? I, yeah, I want Iraq to mention some of his resentment. He's not doing it. Yeah, he's not mentioning why he resents you. Oh, yeah. He's doing the thing that you always say that he does, where he's not addressing yeah. the issue. You're saying he basically he's, he's shirking his duties. Exactly. Oh, he probably. Are you mad that I'm I'm closer with Sam than you? <laughs> no. Oh. 
No. And that whole no. d- dynamic changed over the years. It did. Yeah. yeah you I mean, were like the top dog head yeah. muckety muck. I was just an intern. Um, and you were just an intern. And then this kind of dynamic changed where Opie started maybe. I blame Sam in the end. For what? Being likable? For being You're not so likable. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> you, have the, you have the fucking worst traits of both races. <laughs> oh. I blame. Iraq should have whacked you out like when he saw that ha- power change yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah, I blame Sam for being uh, the type of person that I would hang out with more. Oh, oh. <laughs> that seems what like you're shifting responsibility. Now, now, Opie, we we we've been interrogating Iraq for a while, but I would like to ask you something. Yes, what is it about Sam that's different from Iraq that you find yourself maybe having a little more in common with, or or hanging out with him more, or, or just having... genuinely like him more? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do you just g- generally like him more as a right, person right. and value his opinion more? <laughs> I, I, I love people that are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an asshole because he stirs the shit up, and yeah, we we sort of have some things in common. But there's got to be a little more than just that. I would think like if you're hanging out, you're able to talk about things, and and the video thing is kind of you know. Uh, uh, Sam's into that whole aspect of what you're doing and sure. shit like that. Mm-hmm. And Iraq, of course, completely dropped the ball and never got involved in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he wasn't yeah. asked to really. Yeah, that's true. He wasn't but... really invited. Although well, I will say, you this... gotta know he's probably got no real talent at that. Oh, you. We can all be the judge because after Opie In started general. doing videos, yeah. I mean, don't pretend like Iraq video doesn't exist because I mean, Iraq, you did try to get into the video oh, game after Opie started. Oh, wait a minute. I tried to learn the editing software and all that stuff, and he tried to because he said, "Oh, Pop is doing it. I can do it too." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Did he change it? No. Do was, you have Eric's I was told, Why aren't you taping anything Eric's around here too? <laughs> Except there's coming. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eric's blowing away with whipped cream. Try Iraq radio. Poor Iraq. Oh God. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on our our relationship. Here. I want to okay. see his videos. Is that what's gonna happen? You have. They yeah. su- well, that Do one's holiday funny, greeting. But... Holiday greeting is good. Holiday good? greeting. Is it just you? No. Oh. Holiday greeting. All right, it's the Yule log playing. <laughs> Thank you, Coke Logic. <laughs> and the, the, at, the, at the end, it goes E Rock video, and it's uh, him as uh, Super, Mario. Super Mario. It's awesome. Try, try Rick Springfield, Jesse's girl. Rick Springfield's Jesse. Well, I don't think I've seen this one. Roland Sims. Yeah, well, Jesse's you? I asked girl. you four times to watch it. Uh, oh. The sound up? Oh, I saw this one. I didn't like this one. Is the sound up? No. no, I don't want oh. it to be. I want to hear. I want to hear Roland. Well, the problem is, like, who fucking films shadows? <laughs> It's Roland singing. Jesse's girl. You will find a woman like that, Jesse's girl. Hey, by the way, you're not shooting Jesse's Citizen girl. Kane. These fucking shadows, Orson. I know. That's what I'm saying. He's shooting Orson though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Iraq. If you moved, I'll give you a little tip. Oh. If you moved the video to your right, it would have taken the light away from the background, and then Roland would have fucking appeared. And okay. you filmed something that was, right, a, that was right. an easy fix. And yeah, when you're outro. driving, no. and he doesn't know that I'm taping him off my fucking camera phone, Whoa. so I just turned it on just to try to grab him. So he thinks you're just holding your phone at him for what purpose? He wasn't paying attention, so oh. I just put it down on the lap. Right. What about the outro? Where were, you, where were you guys going together? Yeah, where were you uh, going? Uh, we know where you weren't Fox going Woods. together. We're going up to Fox Jim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the asshole. Well, I'm just teasing. Yeah, yeah you mean it. Yeah. <laughs> Iraq doesn't. My opinion of Eric is not as important to him as your opinion of him. So yeah, that's true. That's why me teasing him is not as bad because he values what you say about him a lot more. I think mine too. Mine doesn't matter to him as much because I just kind of don't, don't think about him right. after the show's over. Yeah. <laughs> Did you... The fact that you're dressing like a Cuban rebel every day yeah, makes him question your that's judgment. Like a Sandinista. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Uh, silly goose. Arms for beers. <laughs> silly goose nailed it. Thank you. Yeah. Nailed it. Mignola. Yeah. Opie uses Sam mm-hmm. for Sam's mother, so Opie could feel genuine motherly love. That's true. Wow. I mean, you do. How but much you also... does Bobby love me? She more than she should. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever met her live and in person? Oh yes, he has. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bobby rules. Oh, yes. A couple times. 
I've yes. even met her, haven't I? Well, um, I beat the bitch. <laughs> Do you want her to come in here and meet you too, Anne? Yeah. You don't come. You want to come to my house? You'd fall in no. love. With I mean, don't have her come to your house. If for you have her come in, my house. I, I will show up. I'll take a full Cialis and show up in white spandex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Teacher who's boss. Yeah. Oh, God a full damn. fucking Cialis rod in my spandex. I think at one point, <laughs> E-Rock thought of Opie as like a role model and a hero. I yeah. mean, that's obvious from the MySpace profile. And somebody that, you know... Wait, there's a MySpace? Oh, that's, that's where, where the, the hero, hero list came from. Did you come up with your hero list that replaced uh, no, me and Hulk Hogan yet? No. Come on, who? I don't know. I gotta think of some people. Well, what else do you resent about Opie? Yeah. Other than that he hangs out with me instead of All right, you. shit stir. Yeah, but that's a good question, though. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to What is it about, Gregory? Get to the heart of the issue. You're skirting the heart of the issue. Hey, E-Rock, well, let's make your Twitter uh, uh, worth worth something today. <laughs> oh, see, that's do a before Do a before and after uh, picture. What you look like before you joined the Opie and Anthony fucking mm. uh, corporation. Yes. And what do you look like now? Okay. Oh, that's that's kind of good, yeah. Well, someone's saying just like the ELO thing. Because right, this right. place does ruin people. Yeah, it really does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you have a before <laughs> picture about the time you were hired? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Dr. Eric Nagel is on God, that looks Google. like ELO a little bit, too. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Hawking hair. <laughs> I, but I want to know the root of Eric's resentment. He's yeah, not he saying it. He never does. He's got to learn to speak up for himself. He avoids no resentment. Yeah. You do resent Opie. I don't like the fact that you, you enunciated the T in the middle there. No resentment. Sorry, it's there. What was I supposed to do? Good point. <laughs> That's, That's that picture of Eric with a retard it looked like. It's a mirror. It looked like the Paris Hilton <laughs> oh, thing had been photoshopped. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I got a zero on the mirror line. From <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Sorry, it's right. I wasn't listening. Really, nah, fair enough. You're not mad that I had a kid and you're no longer my kid, right? Oh, <laughs> none of that no. shit. Okay, Good like enough. the fucking Snapple lady on that fat <laughs> yeah. show. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. I never got the attention after my mother had another child. <laughs> Ugh, you fat. needy fat cunt. <laughs> Do you he feel like Opie's been too genuinely mean to you and not genuinely <laughs> mean to Sam? Like he'll he'll make fun of Sam and criticize. No, him. I've seen him treat Sam like shit too. Okay. Oh so damn! So is it other people? Sam learns from it, though. Oh. Hey, uh, did I really say what happened to me being one of your top five heroes, you fucking asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Liz, was that an example? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't say it that's, all. That's it. Did it I really a, say it that way? The proverbial nutshell. Because someone yes. said maybe this is why. All right, Whew. let's take a break. Yeah. I can only handle so much. <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> Yeah, the Scorch yeah. Call. So, uh, Loompas. Loompas. Loompa Loompas. Well, how long ago was that? That was 2005. Jeez. Oh, my God. And wasn't he... Uh, Six years ago? Wasn't he going to be coming to Satellite Radio? Yeah. Yes, he announced that he, he would announced be there uh, during in that. January 2006. <laughs> but, uh, nothing nope, about that. that slipped. No, oh, oh, that slipped. Yeah, that's what he said. Oop, that slipped. That's what he said. He used to tell me every two or three months that he was going to satellite radio in two or three months. It's <laughs> unbelievable. What fit was this? What that we're was watching? The e Rock Marshmallow hat. Marshmallow hat. <laughs> in a Wonder Woman costume, of course. <laughs> costume. <laughs> that's how you say it. Ew. Oh, God damn. Oh, a little sweetie. I don't know if... <laughs> He yeah. probably is thinking about all the things like this that he's done yeah. for the show, and then he still gets treated unfairly. He looks like a Sofitel maid. <laughs> 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 he has creamy white stuff on his head yes. and face. <laughs> Marshmallow fluff, I believe that was, or something. Hey. Mm -hmm. Love that stuff. Yes, it's great. Eat your own hat day. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I agree that um, Not Sam on Twitter has a passion for radio, like myself. I do oh. have a passion. And you don't e -Rock, feel e -Rock e -Rock lost his passion. No, he does not oh. have a passion. Yeah, he's, he lost it's been passion beaten somewhere. out of him, though. Sometimes you can well, beat. You know sometimes you could beat something into someone or beat it out of him. You could I break can... a horse so you could ride him, but you don't want to break his spirit. Yeah, I believe his spirit has you been broken. What? But you guys made every attempt to break mine as well. Uh, did we though? Absolutely. No. Let me say. You know what? I'll defend myself. I could name a whole list of opies that were in my life. That try to beat me down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to try to beat me out of this motherfucking business. Mm. I had a lot of Opies in my fucking life. Mm. I can name them all. And you are Erox Opie. I overcome. 
You I overcame, didn't. I should say. He lost his passion. He lost it. He's not tough enough. He rocked. He's not tough enough. <laughs> yeah, he, allowed, he, he fucking. He allowed his O P. D O R. He allowed his O P. to Ring take that him bell. out of the game. Yeah, exactly. take that passion. D O R. Favorite food. <laughs> he rocked. Yes. You got taken out of the game. <laughs> Let's get the passion back. Uh, He's saying that basically, like the end of the Terminator, the weight of his criticism crushed your skull and the light flickered out of your eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fair analogy. You were looking through, hoping for love, and and the crushing weight of his rejection. Yeah. And don't, genuine criticism. Don't blame me, motherfucker. It's That's you. on you. Ooh. I had enough fucking people trying to knock my. Fucking shit down! Ooh. Oh damn! I didn't blame you for that. I got tougher. he didn't blame you. For, I got tougher. Yeah. We, ultimately, we're all was responsible a, for ourselves. Ooh. You so you didn't blame him for that? No, I didn't blame him for that. I'll play a card right now. I was a fucking wimp when I started in this business. There was oh. a lot of motherfuckers knocking oh. me around. So what? Knocking me the fuck around. I woke up one day and said, "I'm done." But what happened to Iraq? He's what still happened? getting knocked the fuck around, unfortunately. Oh, but, but he's not. really want to get into but this. But he's not that kid anymore. He's yeah. reaching the point That's where... That's why it's frustrating. I, uh, enough already. Ooh. I was a more. wimp in this business coming up. A Ooh. fucking wimp. Since so a mutual resentment. still a wimp. Yeah. I was a wimp even when um, we first moved to AF. So I was in the business a long time. Mm, BAB, mm. I was a wimp. Well, we took a lot of shit from... Uh... AF, I turned and, and never looked back. Ooh, so there's like yeah, a mutual thing days. going here, okay? What are your goals, <laughs> E-Rock? Shutting you the fuck up and let them wow, do the show. Wow, see, oh. there you go. Short, uh, it's short There sighted. you go. That's true. Uh, there you go. Step number one, you Bravo. know what? Bravo, you just took your first baby your step. first step, the longest journey to the buffet, yeah, but starts with one right. step. That you just took your first baby elephant step. Bravo. Unfortunately, that <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> baby elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants are so big. They're so fat. That that shut the fuck up was not meant towards me. We all know where that anger was meant. Oh, towards. directing and it towards was, yeah. uh, Opie. You're, so you're saying. saying that Sam is an Opie mirror where he'll bounce his anger at you off of Sam. Yes. I'm an easy target. I know. There's got to be jealousy. <laughs> such jealousy. Oh, jealousy that's un, uh, knows you no know? bounds. Opie's <laughs> going over there with the family and yeah. you know yeah. hanging out with my mom. Yeah, hanging out with your mom, and then Sam's going over the house. Like, and, what's up, guys? Hey, yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where are you? You're in Palookaville. And the girls probably like chit chat a lot. Yeah. And everything. You know. He's like, oh, say hello to Uncle Sam to his kid. Oh, and, you know. Uncle Sam. <laughs> that's yeah. funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, good. Don't tell him that. And E Rock's like, and then Opie goes, This is oh. another guy I work with, Eric. Yeah. Oh. And it's just like, ouch. Yeah, he looks like a taller version of you. <laughs> <laughs> that body of Uncle Sam dressed, goes over dressed there. Dressed in less mature <laughs> nope. clothes. E Rock, I told you too that. The, Better eating habits. Onesie. The nice gift you gave me is at my brother's house. Yeah. Did with you the hear... rest of the nice gifts I've ever given. Oh. Him. That was another thing we brought up on the shit show. Right, right. I, I heard that shit show. What was he... the nice gift? He gave me a really nice uh, picture of, uh, let me think, Gillies, Nystrom, and uh, 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 don't tell me, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, oh, shit. La Fontaine? No, 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 fuck. Bill Tetley? Throw a blank. <laughs> Bill Tetley. <laughs> Mustache, help me out. Mustache back in hockey oh. in the fucking <laughs> late eight, early eighties. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, oh my God, it's fucking um, I need to know the Randy first. Jergens. Randy fucking Jergens. That's <laughs> right. It was a four foot tall, <laughs> custom framed, oh. it was really nice. signed Islanders picture. Oh, he gave Opie this gift for Christmas. Oh. That gift. That's a great gift. But you know how I long? You know how long it was in Opie's house before it was given away? How long? You Eight, gave that away? 18 hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Because he said, what, did you give it to your brother? Yes. Because he's a huge fan. I have fan. nowhere to fucking hang it <laughs> You have a four-bedroom mansion. <laughs> Shut up. I, I don't know where to hang, hang it. it. There's, There's a, a restaurant no, he can no hang it in. No wall space. Oh! oh, oh, oh. restaurant. Oh. Could have hung in the restaurant. Gillies comes down there. He didn't even give it to that brother. We already got assigned uh, Gillies' picture in the restaurant. But he could have hung out in the restaurant. That's right. Let the public see the gift. Wow. Given by the little plaque. Presented by E-Rock. The sex oh. bagel. My brother, sex bagel. My brother bagel. has it in his office. He loves it. But, I visit it from time to time. But that was I meant for it. you. Yeah. Oh. See, the thought that you just gave that away. That's very terrible. I'm you gave tough to gift. buy for. A lot of money, a lot of thought. <laughs> a lot of thought, but that was an important gift. A lot gift. of thought, probably. Iraq, I'm could, tough you to honestly, buy for. could you honestly just tell me a few of the thoughts and feelings as you were purchasing that? Finally, uh, I got a great what gift. You He'll love thinking. it. This will make him love me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, what made it different from other things yeah. was that this was a joint gift from my wife. 
and myself. It was from the Nagel family. Oh. Oh. So not only did you feel like he had jilted you, but he had jilted the woman you love. She came across and said, do you think he'll like this? And I said, that's perfect. Let's oh. get that. Oh. That's perfect. How long before he gave it away? 18 hours. 18 hours later. Yet he still well, has the... Uh, it would have been, been sooner, but still has I didn't what? have the family party until 18 hours later. Yet he claims he still has that shitty oil painting he got for his wedding that he's never revealed to anybody. Oh. He kept oh. that. Wow. wow, you're paying attention. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Everyone else forgot about so that. So you and your wife pick out a nice gift no, and no, you no, feel the that he oil, gave it away. Hold on. The oil painting was done by a very close uh, member of my wife's family, and that's not hanging up either, Iraq. It's not. I'll break character again. You yeah, give but it you away, talked though. about how awful it was and that you were going to reveal um, on Twitter a little piece of the... Of the oil painting as you as time well, went guess on. Guess what? You just blew up my Twitter, OP Radio, because <laughs> oh, I am showing shit. that shit today. Oh you shit! You want to see the oil painting that was given to me as a wedding gift? I am tweeting that motherfucker today. Can we see OP Radio. But Erox heard that you're. He, they thought uh, of the gift for you. O-P-I-E-R-A-D-I-O. How much did it cost? Oh. Tra- well, Travis just had a suggestion if we yeah. could see Erox's gift too, but you wouldn't be able to twit. Are you going to your brother's mm. house or? Oh. Does he have a Twitter? Uh, <laughs> His yeah, office. Yeah. Boy, when was see. the last time you saw that thing? Scott, if you're listening, he listens every day. How big is the Could picture? Can you send me a picture <laughs> of, of, of the Erox's gift that is in your feet? office? That's a great gift. My like motherfucking Twitter's blowing up. How many signatures? <laughs> Three. <laughs> how much did it cost you? Come on, how much? A nice amount. How much? The Nagel family, not just you. How much is the name? I'm, I'm not giving out the price. Is it more it. than hundred bucks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Custom framing alone. Yeah. Whatever. Double more than, matting. UV more than glass. two. Oh, oh no! You had it matted in glass. More than two hundred. There was a custom yeah, made Islanders right. logo. Made. Oh shit! Licensed. Matted. Licensed. Licensed. Look, look, all I have to say is live and learn. <laughs> Fuck. I oh. lived, I learned, no more gifts. Well, you know how I, I live and learn. You know how I see this. Try harder is what I'm saying. This, to this me, is the theme of this fucking segment. Try well, what do you get a millionaire? You know, you'd think That's something right. that he liked hockey. By the way, That's to me, right. this is, this By is the a way, gift. multi. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift from one family to another. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sam. So there you go. What have you gotten, Opie, as a gift? And, That's a great and, question. And, Opie, where is that gift? All right. For instance, uh, <laughs> yes. You know the latest version of iMovie, iMovie 2011? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, we bought that for himself? I was fucking, I was living with the old one. Oh, my God. So now you got the new one from Sam Roberts. And what did you think? I loved it. My latest video, which is on <laughs> OP Radio. Oh, <laughs> so it was edited with iMovie 011. Something you can use is what I'm seeing. And he uses it every day. You use. Hold That's on. right. Yes, uh, Ira? Sam, what else have you given Opie? Oh. Have I given oh. Opie? Yes. <laughs> that he's, that you he's, give me uh, the herb. Happiness, oh. a smile. Besides hours of bad radio. <laughs> 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 what else have you given? You're just feeding those people on Twitter. Um... Remember when Opie had sweatpants that he couldn't keep up and Steve Blatter yelled at him? Yeah. Who do you think bought him the sweatpants? Oh, shit. I knew he liked sweatpants. I got him a nice pair so of So basically, sweatpants. he uses your, your gift every day to cover his genitals. <laughs> exactly. And your other gift he uses to create yeah. right. on Opie Radio at, on Twitter. You right. want me to tweet my uh, sweatpants that Sam gave me? I would love that. Opie Radio. <laughs> and Erox gifts get <laughs> given away. Get given away. Sometimes and, to goodwill. And put... Pretty much a hundred miles away. It gets re-gifted to his brother's home office in Long Island. Immediately. Wow. Yeah. Immediately. Well, hopefully my... No one looks at it. I no. do want to see that gift again. I hope my brother sends a picture today. And by the way, those sweatpants... It was very yeah. nice. I got them off-season. They were on clearance. They didn't oh, have to spend a whole bunch of so money. They didn't even have to spend a lot no. of money. I bet E-Rock spent three fifty on that's that gift. Knowing, yeah, at least. That's knowing your friend. At least. Yeah. Um, what'd you do with the Justin Bieber balloon I gave your son? That thing is still floating on my ceiling. A Justin Bieber balloon outdoes. Do you want to see the Justin Islanders. Bieber balloon? Opie Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to tweet today. Wow, wow, that's insulting. He felt he feels insulted for his wife too, though. He feels like they picked out a gift together, and that it was something I, that was that they cared about. And even though we joke on the show, like, hey man, I know you're gonna like this, but, but I, he's, he's tried gifts like the hold iMovie on, hold thing. On, hold on, I I I I, I like the gift. No, because you gave it away. I just away have real nowhere quick. to hang it. But I have about, a baby's room now. You have all a my restaurant. All my radio. Go? All my radio Man. shit went into a fucking closet. Basically, you, I have nothing hung up in, gone my, a, a, in my place. But that's not radio shit. That's like a, a, a sentimental gift of yeah. uh, from Iraq. Uh, like if someone gave me something assigned. Like I've gotten signed baseballs and well, stuff we like know that. You, you, I put them right up. I have them displayed because yeah, they're, they're that's sentimental. You. 
You well, like that kind of stuff. What about when Opie? Not so much. He likes that stuff. When Opie was like talking about not seeing Lost, not and E Rock goes, oh. <laughs> "That was years ago." E so, Rock yeah. goes, "You know, I'll bet my friend, my close friend and role model, Opie, would love to see this." I'm thinking I'm going to give him the first couple seasons. The first couple, not just one box set. Fuck, the first where is that? Cup, you gave it away to your brother. Where did I give that oh, to? Elmo. Your shit. Yeah. Elmo's got that? Yep. So you gave him a couple of lost <laughs> seasons. It was right when the show just, everybody was really getting right. into it and starting to talk about it. And he's like, I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen the so show. So you bought them for him? Elmo. <laughs> got him the first two seasons. If Elmo's listening. Oh, Jesus. Fucking take a picture of that lost box set so I could tweet that shit too. Open <laughs> radio. <laughs> so I got to find all your gifts to me. But Fuck. E- E-Rock doesn't make like... The money that a lot of people make, so that's hard money. Yeah, if he yeah. spends three hundred on a gift, or even a box. How much is a box set? Sixty-five bucks at least, and he bought two of them. All right, yeah. so that's one hundred and thirty dollars right there. And that's... it's easy to just buy sweatpants on clearance. Sweatpants, yeah, it was off season. Yeah, I bought crazy. them in like May. They were winter sweatpants. They were uh, maybe fifteen dollars. Opie, uh, we got somebody asking a question here. Was uh, E Rock asked if he could do you a favor one day and bring your your luggage that you had forgotten down to Atlantic City? <laughs> Was E Rock asked about that? Are you insulted that you didn't have to take the, the trip to AC? No, I laughed at you on the phone and hung up. And hung up. And then who did deliver that luggage? <laughs> that was Sam Roberts. The guy whose gifts aren't given away. He went Ooh, Sam Roberts. Well, I think right. he showed a little appreciation, loyalty, that's and dedication. Right. That's and I right. didn't mind a, a nice weekend in and Atlantic it was a City. weekend hanging out. You got a fucking room out of the deal. And exactly. you laughed at me. I slept in. So enjoy enjoy what's coming your way, motherfucker. I got a free room, and he had to buy <laughs> gifts that got given away. Enjoy what's coming. <laughs> How did you feel when you first heard that that gift was given away? I, I was a bit livid. On oh, that one, on yeah. that one, I on was. the hockey one, it really bothered him. That had to. That really Dude, bugged that him. Had how'd, you find, how'd you find out? I didn't tell you. You you brought it up on the shit show. <laughs> on the shit show. I did. Show. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You get very loosey goosey on that show. Yeah, the shit show is uh wow, a lot of people open up. It's like, Wait, when did you give him that gift? Christmas? Christmas, I guess. And when did you yeah. find out it was given away? A couple weeks ago. Oh, oh you just found out. So you oh. thought maybe a month ago. That it was maybe. hanging in a place. It of all honor? makes sense oh, now. Oh, that damn. was the turning point right <laughs> oh, there. Over damn. the mantle, perhaps. He was still in until that point. Well, <laughs> had you been over Opie's house in between the time you gave him the gift and the time you found out he gave it away? No. Uh, Hell no. no. Wow, that's oh, like okay. five months. And I was. Th- oh wow, how many times have you been over? In and- five months? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even count. Right? No way. That's a lot. I mean, I thought you were going to say like this week. <laughs> five months. I don't know how many times I've been there in five months. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit. You know? Wow, man. So, E Rock, he really doesn't have any place to hang it in that giant living room or dining room or the other bedroom. I have all the glass. Hallways. Yeah. The whole, half my place is glass. But half isn't. Three bathrooms and, you yeah. know, plenty hallways. of places. Uh, Hall, a lot of hallways. I didn't want to yeah. disrespect him and put it in a bathroom. That that's yeah, just horrible. Get rid of it. Two and a half bedrooms. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, just get rid of it. Wow, this is real. You uh, also he, didn't uh, really yeah. search yeah. Yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was eighteen yeah. hours later. There wasn't a lot of searching. I bet if I, I walk th- if I walk through Opie's house with a video camera, I could find at least ten amazing places to hang. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that has to be. <laughs> now that's <laughs> twit pick worthy. Do you have a lot of things on your walls at your house? Oof. Nope. <laughs> No, there's plenty of space. A lot of space. space. Mm. But he probably looked at that and he felt like, I just don't care about this gift. Oh, yeah. oh, what am I going to do with this big gaudy Islanders thing? Yeah, this is not oh, that good. Shit. Yeah, give it to my brother. He's into this shit. <laughs> yeah, this bullshit. Yeah, like, and Eric and his wife in. are standing there <laughs> holding hands, like, looking like, where's our picture? How <laughs> tired How tired would you get like having <laughs> to talk about it and explain it if people come over your house right, and it's right. like, hey, well, look at this. This is nice. This is... And then you have to be like, yeah, Eric got it for me. So I, you just figured, fuck this. Let me get rid I'm, of it. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an asshole with gifts. What can I tell you? Not with uh, mine. I mean, you, you know what I did? Mine. Well, no, I use my birthday yeah. is uh, soon. Couple of, uh, this <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think uh, a couple days after the Earth ends, I'll, I'll be celebra- celebrating a birthday. And, right after uh, Earth ends. Yeah. And I drive my wife nuts too because right around this time, I go out and buy everything I want. Ah, like, so look, she wanted to buy this. This would have been a perfect but fucking birthday gift. But then you wouldn't have gift. had it. That's what I try to That's tell her. That's what I say. 
and so I buy everything I want. Right. The so then she has nothing to buy me for my birthday. And, and you're the breadwinner, so you're buying it anyway, either way. She, but, <laughs> but it frustrates her. So if you wanted an Islanders signed big, I would have uh, bought thing, it already. You'd have bought it yourself. <laughs> yes. Right. So, as you didn't want it to begin with. No. Then. It wasn't would've. the walls. What did you think? Honest, <laughs> oh, honestly, what did you think when you saw the, the Islanders picture? Honestly, honestly, my brother's gonna love this. <laughs> honestly, if if uh, if Billy Smith was on it, then I would have really loved it. Oh. 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 It fell short. Wow. But that means oh. knowing me and, oh. and who my favorite island is. Oh. Right. Oh, this is so painful. It Ouch. fell short. It fell short a little bit. Clark Gillies, yes. Nystrom, nah, not so much. Not a big deal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm being gosh. reminded. A Mike Boss, he oh. would have been nice on there. What about just like a little signed puck to put on your desk or something instead ah. of that big giant gaudy? Yes, that I would have kept. What are you being reminded of, Iraq? I'm being reminded that. Um, is it your wife? Uh, now I have a problem with her. The, that we <laughs> were there for uh, his son's christening. Oh. And when we were at the, the apartment, I forgot that uh, she reminded me. And she goes, I wonder I if he had a you, chance to hang come. it up yet. Oh, no. She asked I you that? I she forgot that. all about that. That's I wonder if he had a chance to hang it up. we didn't yet. see it. And this is before he admitted what he did with it. So she yeah, we were like, oh, maybe he just hasn't had time to hang it up so, yet. So, so she And I did say, I'm like... This is several months after Christmas. Oh, I know. It's not December 28th. No. Oh, no. Hey, so the wife noticed. Yeah. He rock hates you. Western. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the turning point. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew, yeah, I, yeah, I knew yeah, things were a, a little different recently. That's he feels like him and his wife have been disrespected out. in a very real way. Oh, well. And, and they had been, by, by the way. Sure. Yes, yes. What happened? And they had been what? disrespected. In a very in real way. In their eyes. They, you know, yeah. Are you going to buy Opie a birthday present? Did I give you a birthday fucking gift that you enjoyed? The there bottle of wine was great. There you go. Just a little simple little thing that I, I know it. that Ann would have enjoyed. It's delicious. Western Echo on Twitter. What's hysterical is that uh, Opie doesn't want Erox gifts back. He just wants picture <laughs> pictures sent to him. So of the gift. <laughs> <laughs> just go to Best Buy and photo, you know, the, the lost box and just say, I gave that to you, and you're done. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's oh. venomous. The venom didn't... is coming oh, out. Yeah, finally. the venom. I didn't even realize that you gave me the lost box set until today. Oh, he didn't even realize Poor Iraq, he doesn't like the I fact forgot. that he puts so much thought and feeling into yep. you, and yep. he feels like you have no thought or real feeling for him. Well, if, if we want to go that route, um, Opie and Anthony were both very generous with their wedding gifts. Oh, well, when it's only cash, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Did I not give you a gift? It was not cash. Oh. Your gift was very nice. Oh. I know you had no idea you got sure. me a gift, but <laughs> it was nice Did to Did I give you a no, gift? No, I know no, it was. Not. Oh. oh! I actually meant to. I would. I, I don't do that. I, don't I know what people. it was because it was on the. Uh, I'm sorry. It was on your list. Why did you give things. Iraq a uh, wedding gift and not me? Because oh. I figured you could just get whatever you want, like I do. Yeah. <laughs> why, don't you, Aunt, why don't you buy a nice wedding gift for Opie's brother? Oh, <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I didn't. I, I meant to. I, I was in. I was in fucking uh, Poughkeepsie that weekend. That's Can I just why. say it's Poughkeepsie? Really I good. was. What does that mean? I was working. I was away. I forgot. I forgot to do it because I wasn't at the wedding. Oh. It wasn't like I went and stiffed the I didn't go to the wedding either. Yeah, but you were fucking... What were you doing? What were you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Probably Drinking. drunk somewhere. He exactly. wasn't in your life. He was just... He <laughs> wasn't in my life. <laughs> What's going on this weekend? I have no idea. Kenny, can you make a note to get Wait, me... I'm going to get so... a $50 gift certificate <laughs> for that scumbag. <laughs> Wait, I'm number one on your fucking hate list, and I was the only one in this room that went to your fucking wedding. God damn! Motherfucker. I was working, though. I couldn't. And does... gave you a nice fucking cash yeah, but gift. But it does How much you give him? It does help when you're the only one that got an invitation to the I, wedding. I don't like discussing Ooh, figures ever. Ever. I'm teasing, of That's course. Right. I, I don't like uh, discussing figures oh. ever. It was a, it was a healthy. Uh, More than a hundred? Oh, way pants. the fuck over a hundred. Sweat, way the fuck pants. over a hundred. <laughs> On sale. Add some zeros, my friend. All right, so fucking, he oh, gave you, sir. oh 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 one dollar. <laughs> Add some zeros and some decimal points. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, one decimal point. Yeah, oh, that's an right. Idiot. Why are people mad at me that I give Suck. gifts away? If I don't, if I feel like say it, you don't want it. You're gonna say that. And you yeah, stop yeah. yourself. <laughs> you stop just. Why are people if mad I don't at wall, me? Wall, wall, right out of wall space. <laughs> <laughs> your fucking pristine walls. I could eat off your walls. Okay. There's nothing on them. Some asshole gives me an oil painting and assumes that I like oil painting. So what am I supposed to do? 
That, and I'm the only honest guy here. You're supposed to hang it up in your house for 30 Absolutely. fucking years and hate it. And Some what? asshole gives you an Islanders. Or, you fucking <laughs> get, or, do, or do you give it to someone that might appreciate it? How yeah. much My space. brother appreciates that Islander thing, man. He fucking, he fucking dusts it. Uh, whatever it every day. How much wall space do you need for? <laughs> well, no, no. He, Eric understands that, but he's hurt that you didn't appreciate. Like he yeah, knows right. your brother. I a gift for your brother. Right. Yeah. You. He wanted yeah. you to appreciate. And I'm it. playing it this is. up a little bit for the show. Sure. I appreciate. it, Yes, but I didn't know what to do with it. And you how much? How much wall space does the last lost box sets? Take up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I I didn't want to watch Lost. The empty he assumes that he has. <laughs> yeah. No, you Ooh, assumed that wow. I wanted to watch Lost because because oh, you thought it was a good show. That's fine. I I've I I never had a desire to watch the show. So when you gave me the box set, I was appreciative. I said thank you, and I gave it to someone that would want to watch it. What's wrong with that? I the problem you... is people don't fucking tell the person that they gave their right, gifts away. Right, right. Many people give gifts away, but they never fucking tell the person. I don't that's, think he minds the lost one as much. The lost one is not is just like a pop culture thing. But I think that the Islanders one got to him so bad because he knows you love the Islanders. You talk about them every day. You're very a mm -hmm. loyal fan. And uh, he and his wife together put you know, some thought into that, and oh that's boy. that's different than the lost thing. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, that's that is different. Yeah, oh I just boy. remembered the wine rack that me and Jess gave you is still in your house too. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Because that's when he was saying he had all this wine, and then you and thought so we said, "Why would we wine get a wine rack? Wine rack, right? What a thoughtful gift! Oh, yeah. Nice gift. It was very nice. We actually. gave him. Uh, I think it was for his wedding. We gave him a nice basket full of uh, different wines. Which, like he does, he quickly pulls up his computer and goes to wine.com <laughs> and reviews how good this wine is based on the price. <laughs> That's fucked up. And what was his? What was his? Uh, what was his conclusion? No, he, he was he approved because it was over a certain dollar amount. What's the dollar amount? Fifty. Okay. No, it was a basket uh, like of uh, five or six different wines, and they were all over a certain range. Yeah. Ah, Doctor Steve. Ah, ah, ah. He puts a lot of thought into Opie's gifts. There was a it's there was a wine thought, I was going to get Anthony that the guy suggested in the store, and I looked it up on my fucking phone and and saw it didn't make the criteria. Didn't make the cut. So I had to tell the guy, nope, we got to go higher, motherfucker. That so I, good, uh... I live it. I live it in my own life. Let me tell you something. I looked up that bottle of wine that Opie got. That was a damn good bottle of wine. Yes, it was, and it uh, it tastes great. That's right. Well, while you two like are that. congratulating each other, we have a hurt boy in that room. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Jim, you, you said that Eric gives really good gifts and puts a lot of thought into it. Yeah. But I gotta, Opie, yeah. Yeah, I got to kind of go the other way where it's Ooh. I, I kind of feel like Eric is giving gifts that, like, a fan would know to get Opie. Oh, you know? oh, oh, I'm not, I'm not shit. Oh. I'm not, hang on. That's One shallow. of the biggest insults you could ever say, <laughs> no, by no, the way. I'm just saying because, like, Fanboy. like if, I'm, yeah. if I'm a fan, it's like, what do I know that Opie likes? Well, he likes... Wine and the Islanders, so I'll just get them wine and Islanders stuff. Right, uh, and I think it maybe it's just a little. And it's, I don't mean to smash it, but perhaps it's a little too generic. Yeah. Oh shit! When he has enough money shit. to buy anything he fucking wants, you try to Look. find something that like ah, really... he could use this, or he might enjoy that, well. even though he can purchase that Look, himself. This yeah, is, this was the mistake. But the Islanders thing is a little. It different, was a mistake. He wouldn't seek that out to go and but, get that. No, it was a mistake because it was Clark Gillies. <laughs> nice drum, and I remember now that it was uh, Brian Trottier. Trots. If it was Gillies, Smith, yeah, and a bossy, now bossy. we're talking. That would have but been that, that, that would have been adorning one of your walls. Well, then you you would have to know me for that shit. Yeah. Though. Wait, but there well, there would be wall space for that. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. So it had nothing to do with the wall. <laughs> yeah. What would you have taken down to put that up, or would you have had a wall built? Or just built. Put it up where there's a spot anyway. Yeah, it was the, it was the three guy combo that was a little 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 off. You didn't like it. So you guys off. looked out of the rock, and 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 you you and you and your your beautiful wife agreed. Hey, this is a cool gift. And he and you knew that he looked at it and went ugh. All right, so it fell a little short. The next time will be <laughs> no, different. Yeah. If he went ugh, it was not to my face. <laughs> it's it's no, a learning exercise. <laughs> yes, this, that's what I keep trying to tell you. I kid. get it. I get it. All Don't this try. is learning exercises. This is life lessons, I not just it. radio lessons. Exactly. If he wants to look at you like a father, he has to accept that's the life lessons. That's fucking right. Let me see if my Twitter's blowing up to date. <laughs> What's your Twitter? Opie Radio. And Jimmy uh, retweeted one of my lines yesterday. Motherfucker. It was funny. It fucking, uh, well, I don't remember what the line was, but it, it made me laugh. Actually, I want to retweet one of yours. Uh, leave Feel the, free! The, the, uh, <laughs> the Sofitel leaves the black light on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have retweeted that. I don't know why I didn't. I owe you an RT oh, okay. today, Jimmy Holy Morton. mother of God. This has just been so uncomfortable. It, it, well, but I, I love Iraq. I, I live I, in this fucking world. Let's I feel go. bad for Bring poor Iraq. 
Poor Iraq has a. Iraq. He's a hurt boy. But it's good that he gets this stuff off his chest. He has so much pent up. He's got to get things off his gut, though. <laughs> his chest is... It's just not the time, it's just, it's He's sorry. hurting in there. I I just, There's I, a hurting I boy in that glass. And I have to say I get it. uncomfortable I'm sorry. around neediness. I'm sorry. Oh. But that's love. I think that's I get a love. I'm uncomfortable when things are a little too needy. But that's he, love. That, I don't even know if that was needy. Because don't get me wrong, Iraq is garbage. But I think that was love. Oh, that was a, He loves shit. you. Iraq should have bought. I don't, I, I don't have time to go to you, Jake. I'm sorry, but it's great. E Rock should have bought all Beatles books. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way to squeeze that in, but I knew how much that bothered me. That hurt my feelings, but I didn't uh, take yeah. it personally. I know, even though we that, we got a great video out oh, of that, was, I could see in your face that there was a party that was a little He wanted that Ozzy day. to take yes. those and be yes. like, wow, yes. I really appreciate it. There was a moment where you like turned from all the laughter to look at the books, oh. and it's a great shot of, of what Jimmy was really feeling. Because that he did and then put he, thought into it. And then it. he moved sure. back to laughing with the rest of yes. us. Yes. But there was a split second where yes. he was a yes. hurt little boy. Sure, that's why I know, because what it does, it puts in perspective where you are in the mind of that person. Right. Now, me, I'm an Aussie fan from, you know, 30 years, but I do realistically understand that I'm not high on his radar. But when something like that brings it home, it makes me go like, ugh, like wince a little bit. Right. But I get over it quickly because, again, he fucking forgets everything and he's Ozzy Osbourne. So you, this is a little harder because yeah. I don't work with Ozzy every day. Like he I don't expect of, Ozzy to love me. He thought of Opie as like an idol, but also at this point, a friend. A friend and yes. a co worker. I'm under no illusions Look, that Ozzy is a, is a, is a co worker. You rock, I'll help you out for next time. Like, it's really tough to buy for me. I like. It's not that tough. I like uh, Duckhorn <laughs> Cabernet. Hoping a few of those arrive for, just in time for my birthday. Why don't I just call Brett and ask what he likes? Oh, Whoa. that's your brother's name. What are you talking that's about? It was Scott that got your Islanders fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the one with the restaurant. All right. Because um, Brett's sort of like me, to be honest with you. Why don't you get him a napkin holder? And uh, <laughs> and Silver Oak is a fine wine, Ant. Silver Oak, yes. Cabernet. Yes. I'm a Cabernet guy. Just, Anthony is a fucking I'm a Shiraz, Shiraz guy. Lo- I'm a Shiraz nut. But I do have a lot of other ones. Um, I'm actually having a wine tasting set up at the house. Which um, all of us shortly. will not be invited to. No, it's, just, <laughs> it's actually usually just me, a Keith, and Danny sit around with a, uh, a distributor, and I restock my wine cellar. Nice. Uh, and, and you you know, you try out different wines and figure what you want. Cases. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> you used to fucking take toilet lids off. <laughs> and you're a garbage man and fucking keeps a patrolman, and the three of you are sitting around like you're fucking the queen in her fucking royal entourage. Faggots. <laughs> I, don't, I don't turn down free alcohol. That's beverages. right. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> God damn. my my Twitter has blown up today. I've gained so 20 true. followers after all those mentions. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Poor Iraq. Uh, I, I don't God like to see Iraq hurt because Iraq, I Iraq gave him the greatest fucking gift. A He's job right. in my fucking knowledge. Oh, now, shit. Now, give me a better wow. fucking Islanders poster next time, Ooh. and let's all relax. Bossy. <laughs> Bossy. <laughs> I love how it's just been boiled down to a poster. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> 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 bumper sticker. Yeah, print me out a better picture at Kinko's. Yeah. <laughs> a job and, and at least 20 some odd years of knowledge. Yeah. Remember, uh, so, uh, how about you? D- d- you made the sex boss? bagel a household name. Bossy. Thing. That's how you can remember it. You don't even know hockey, obviously. So you ask around. Who the, wow, he's an Islander fan. Who does he fucking like from the old days? Yeah. See? Yeah. Have I bought you guys any gifts? I don't think so. We don't give gifts. No, we're not big gift givers. You gave me We a give f- the gift of laughter to our audience. Jimmy <laughs> gave me a fine check for my wedding. Yes, I did. And we all know I don't need money, but Jimmy made sure he fucking oh. acknowledged uh, that special day. What about the, um, the money in the bag? Well, I said that, and he said, nobody's going to steal that. Not here. <laughs> And then I said, all oh, this money, if anybody else is wedding, I'm not all wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh you rock, I love you. Oh, you're right. There you go, you rock. Everything's yeah. okay. Everything's okay. fine now. I'm sure, I'm sure yeah. he'll have a lot to say during the shit hour. I was gonna I was gonna say, thank God it's all settled and taken care of and oh, won't be yeah. brought up on the shit hour. No, you know, his wife has to hear that. Because I'm sure Sam will just That's move on true. from this. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna get into this. I don't like conflict. Oh no. <laughs> Without getting too personal or anything, Iraq, just a generalization. How does your wife feel about this? We we know your wife. She's very lovely, a great girl, way you're, out you're of your league. You're hitting way out of your yeah, league. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And uh, she's slumming. How does she feel about a situation like this? She uh, 
I was Holy. texted that she picked out both the wine <laughs> Ooh. And the Islanders thing, oh, so she uh, oh, oh, the, the wine thing she played oh. off, but the Islanders thing, yes, she was disappointed. Oh, disappointed! How does she feel about the way Opie treats you? Mm, that's a good one. Mm. Right, we any? won't go into that. No, we won't. Oh, oh shit! Not a few it, it, late night chit chats. How does she? Oh, come on, wow. how does she feel about the way? Come on, you can say it. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm not even listening to you because guess what's in the mail as we speak? Oh, a Bill, that fucking uh, Billy suction Smith device, oh, autographed well. fucking hockey card. That's what? incredible! You got to hang that up. I fucking have a spot for that. <laughs> so now wait, what did she say about the way Opie treats you? Come on, what'd she say to you? Wow, this is gonna end friendships today. I did love she, this. Now, did she <laughs> say what'd she say? Like she showed, I was did, starting to think I had a, a too many friends anyway. So <laughs> you go gotta ahead. start thinning out the uh, herd. Erock's a little hurt. What, what, did she say, uh, hey, Eric, why does he, like, does he really not like you? Or did she ask you something, or did she say it? Nope, not getting into that. Question or statement? You're an asshole. That's a fair question. Because that means she said some shit, so no, now we she can't didn't be friends say anymore. Shit. I just don't want to bring her into this conversation yeah, anymore than I need to. Oh. No, it's fair enough. I, oh. We have a civilian rule. But that's not. A, but if that's you don't want to bring your civilians onto the show. That's we don't we don't push that's, that. That's all it is. I just don't want to bring her more into this. Okay, than I how need about to. this? Let me refresh. What what have you heard? It might not even be by her, but what have you heard that uh, kind of pointed out that your relationship was a little unequal? I mean, I'm sure somebody must have said something to you. If not her, then another friend. Do the people close to you comment on the way Opie treats you? I oh, mean, like Sam all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but other people who are in your personal life. <laughs> There's really no one in my personal life that knows him. But they know the relationship on the radio. <laughs> on the radio. They don't know They know that your gifts are hustled out faster than they fucking, do now, than and I'm fucking sure it's number one on the countdown. After he became a restaurant partner. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? You get an Islander's gift in through the front door, out through the back. Out the back. You get wine out the back door. Uh, <laughs> you should see the gifts that end up in the garbage chute because I don't like clutter. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. By the back way, scratchers. Uh, um, I have my first Iraq tweet. Nice. Is in. <laughs> it says, uh, Anthony Cumia, hey, you watching the news? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very funny. I'll retweet you. I, and that um, way you'll get some. I started uh, some the of my hey, folly. watching the news the Twitter thing, though. Hey, I, we're just talking between friends, Opie. Uh, Why don't you I'm stay sorry. out of this? I'm I sorry. treat. <laughs> <laughs> and I, treat, I tweeted to Iraq to try to get him some more followers. Yeah. I did. It's beautiful. Hey, I wrote, please be nice to E-Rock Radio. The poor angel feels unloved. Do not chip bomb him. It will make him feel silly. <laughs> oh, that I love sense. your do not chip bomb tweets. <laughs> no, do not. Do not write things about him with a tss. No, there's a lot of just... I was wondering what that was because a lot of responses just go there's nothing, by the way, that makes me happier than a Twitter chip bombing. <laughs> it's a little something. Me and Sam were going back and forth yesterday because... Um, that's what friends do. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because I, I, I photo uh, bombed uh, one, of the, one of Sam's pictures yesterday. Oh. And, well, it, and, and it was prank. on E-Rock's camera. Yeah. So I kept writing E-Rock. Like, what the fuck? I want to tweet this picture. E-Rock. And I was frustrated. And I wrote, Sam, where's that fucking picture? And... Sam writes, yep. Iraq moves like molasses. Oh. That's not, oh, I that's mean, like slow, right? Very slow. Oh, okay. Iraq, oh. would I say that to your face? Fuck yeah. Exactly. Oh. That's why it's, it's, it's a great e relationship. behind my back. Iraq yeah. is a very thoughtful guy. And yes. I told him that one time. He, he did, got me a, we were going to get pictures with Carol Burnett. And he bought me a Carol Burnett book. I gave him the money for it, but it was oh. like that he thought, oh, you might want to get this signed. I said, right. you're a thoughtful guy. Thoughtful boy. Very thoughtful. Yes. I will. Good for, Eric's a good sweet. friend. I will, I will agree with you. Eric retouched Very a thoughtful. photo. I will never for deny me, that. For me, two years afterwards, and I didn't even ask for it's it. It's weird. Wow. It's yes. He's very weird. thoughtful. Was it because well, Sam's on the beach? Did he have to uh, get rid of no. <laughs> there, 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 Did he draw you in? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seinfeld. Uh, There's random that. acts of kindness that, that Eric does for apparently no reason because oh. no one's kind back. Isn't it more oh. a cry for help and love than I, it is? I don't know what it is, but Eric Eric went mm. out of his way to get my uh, one of my Carrie Byron pictures like printed out and signed by. Like I didn't ever ask oh, him to do wow. that, but he just did, and I thought I thanked him for it. He's, a, he's a nice is guy. Nice. Eric is a genuinely nice guy. That is a nice thing to why do. Would you, why would you do that? Pretty he comes from money. <laughs> he's not a spoiled rich kid. He's a fucking nice guy. Hey, Scott. Yeah. When you get this, could you send me a picture of the Islanders poster? I want to tweet that today. Thanks. He was born with a silver. <laughs> not a poster. He was born with a silver <laughs> shovel in his mouth. <laughs> 
I left a message for my brother, so. You should get a trick yeah. <laughs> Selfish shovel. Oh. Uh, that was hurtful. Oh, it was a goddamn good one. I apologize, Iraq. But I'm number one, right, Iraq? <laughs> Eric, I'm going to keep reminding you. I see a lot of mentions are coming in on your Twitter. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, I'll read a few. <laughs> You're a trooper. <laughs> you know, it's a it's, it's, he rocks more like he boulders something. <laughs> he boulders. <laughs> it's, it's so something. El Blanco. Your, your next door neighbor must be D Rock Radio or F Rock Radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. uh, right gonna, in between. There's nothing better than a fucking chip frenzy. I think <laughs> we can all agree on that. A chip. a chip frenzy, like little piranhas going sis, sis, <laughs> with their chip teeth. <laughs> Something, something about getting a good boy phone, getting bad reception or something. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Iraq. Oh, Such a yes. sweet kid. He is sweet. He's a sweet boy. All around sweet, nice guy, and uh, just gets the brunt of the shit here. He does nice guy things that aren't even needy, though. Like, he's just a thoughtful guy. Very yeah, thoughtful. Him getting yeah. me that Cal Burnett book was, 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 because again, I gave him the money for it. it wasn't It was just a thoughtful thing. Like, he realized yeah, yeah. I would probably want that. And it was like, oh, you know what? That was a very nice gift. Yeah, why doesn't it mean, work out with me? Because okay. he doesn't feel like you, you give the shit away. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you're not paying close enough attention. <laughs> yeah, if you were a little more thoughtful towards Opie, you would yeah, get no, him stuff that he wants. Hey, I got yeah. this for you. Great. Throws it on the floor. Try again. Oh. <laughs> I've never gotten that response. And do you try again? Oh. Yes, you do. So oh. rarely. Eric, do you think if you drop weight and got all cut, they'd still fuck with you like this? Oh, I'd start punching, I think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, I can fucking fight. I'll fight you right the what? fuck now. Why does that oh, motivate damn. you, though? Know? Like, fucking get big, get a little bulk, and then no one's going to... No one's going to a lot of sense. If Opie and E-Rock fought, I would put my... E Opie's a better fighter. <clears throat> He's in better shape. I'd He's put my money on E-Rock, though. Yes, it's because... There's, there's no. I'm just saying that, mother. No, no because no, E-Rock has a there. bull rage. There's a rage there. He's the stocky kid you don't want pushing you up again. He He's outweighs what, you. E-Rock would, would, could be talking Thanks. to anybody in the building. <laughs> and, and I want you to take, take this with the, the, the what I mean it as. E-Rock is the retarded kid that everybody has been flicking rubber bands at, and when he snaps, everyone's like, oh my god, I didn't know he was that strong and right. thick wristed. Eric right. is the bully right. in the bully video. He's not, not the I'll victim in the look, bully video. Yeah, but yeah. retarded. And, and he's just going <laughs> yeah. to fix someone up and me and, me and E-Rock will be the undercard of the in halper and fucking uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, right. Let's do it. <laughs> that big brawl. When's, where's the ring? Outside the building? Yeah. When is it? Next week? Uh, apparently it's right outside. Uh, uh, we'll be the undercard. No thousands problem. of people there. I should have a Hoyer refereeing. Oh, yes. E Rock, we good? Scorch bits ready, yeah. No, we good. Yeah. Yes. I'm just asking. That's the least convincing yes I've ever seen by somebody with Frankenberry hair. I, I'll say we're good. I took some shots. You took some shots. You good? We're good. I just have to pee, so let's go. Yeah, Hold on a second. Too. Don't rush over while we're looking at a giant. Put All right, we'll find it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find it. And then there's a uh, baked potato. Baked potato. What is it? That, uh, what is it called? That baked potato. Baked potato. No. <laughs> no, where are they? Uh... Potato baked. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me, Rock? Potato. Yeah, is it, um... God, he just yelled in my ear. Oh, see, you humiliate the poor kid. He's uh, trying to uh, help out, as always. Oh, excited. You're talking food. When you said baked potato, he said, my body. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. I'm teasing. And once again, find someone else to talk to during the show. Talk oh, to me, e Rock. I love you. I think you're thoughtful. What did you say? Switch over to e Rock. I call uh, twice uh, baked potatoes. Twice what? Twice are you sure? Potatoes. Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Please. Ask me to your you sure that's the distance? <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in my building yesterday. Hi, oh, hey! <laughs> right with you. Hi, hello. Well, enough of my niceness. What are some of those other potatoes? Uh, oh, they taste pretty good. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. We're going to come up with it. Potato pancakes. Yeah. Uh, 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 tater tots. <laughs> yeah. French fried potatoes. Yeah. Potato tumors. One, one of the big ones. <laughs> Potato Ru size clits. Russets. <laughs> I don't the think blue I, ones on jet know. blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't hope potatoes. I don't think it's uh, twice baked. I really spuds don't. Spuds potatoes. Potato skins. Potato skins. <laughs> Baseball potatoes. I'm just making up things and putting potatoes after one, it. Once bitten, twice baked. Steak fries. <laughs> boo. Boo. Potato tits. <laughs> <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Lumpy potato skin tags. <laughs> Scallop potatoes. Oh, Scallop potatoes. Yeah. Potato fetuses. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> potato pancake. I said that. I said sweet potatoes. Kanish. This bit's over. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> mashed potatoes. Marshmallow <laughs> potatoes. So we forgot that, didn't we? Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fucking, um. Potato batteries. But I think you rock. <laughs> salt potato. You rock fucking, uh. Raw potato. <laughs> dude, you just got a fucking. Hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, potato. Hot potato. Now we're done. Hot potato. Now we're done. <laughs> Tomato potato. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Potato. <laughs> you say it that way. Yeah. You say potato. I say potato. Let's call the whole thing <laughs> off. How come you just got a fucking... You, you, how, you, the, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, silly goose, you fuck. Oh, E-Rock, how happy are you to be back? Oh, very. You're not even approaching the mic. <laughs> He's got his feet up. He's got his mic away from his mouth. I'm going to talk more to E-Rock in a little bit, because I think they should have spoken to E-Rock more on today's show, because I would like to see how the vacation went, and how he's feeling. Last week was a very traumatic week. Uh, you did make number uh, one on the Worst of the Week countdown. Just so Eric knows, this is all Sam's doing, your vacation. All right, well, by the way, ideas. remember this audio? I haven't thrown out that. That's the one CD that I'm keeping, so we'll listen to it again, and we'll see who really no, got a no, kick no, out no, of but this no, whole dude, Sam's like, hey, I got a great idea. Like, Sam, just leave the man alone. <laughs> E-Rock? Yeah. You're back. Sure. You went through uh, quite a week. You were on vacation. I guess it was your belated honeymoon. Um, the, I, I guess none of us realized that, but I don't think it would have made a huge difference. No, I think everybody knew damn well. I didn't. I hope you probably did. Uh, Lies. Were you upset when you got the call from the show last week? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were? Yeah. Uh, because Opie was on here, and he said... That uh, you ended up calling him at home, uh, complaining about your treatment. I know that that day you messaged Troy and you said, fuck you. Oh, my gosh. Look at Anthony is walking around here. He just went to the bathroom and changed. He's We walked right past this studio, though. He's not coming in. Anthony said he was going to a fashion show. So he went into the bathroom and changed. This guy looks like a million bucks. He looks like a guy who's on his way to a fashion show. Um you, E-Rock, were on Facebook, and you sent Troy a message. Do you remember what you said? I said, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, why did you say that to Troy? Because I was pissed. Why were you pissed at Troy, though? Uh, you're going to make me get on the mic. Because he was the one who wouldn't stop calling me, and then he goes, don't blame me, blame the host. They're the ones telling me to call. And Opie literally told Troy, today your entire job is to make sure E-Rock gets on the phone. So I can still tell him to go fuck himself. I guess you could. Uh, you weren't happy with Roland, either. Um, Roland's your best friend wait, here, was I? right? Was I upset at Roland? Yeah. Well, here's Troy. He told you fuck you. Eric did. Of course. Yell at the person that, uh, and you don't yell at the real people that you should be angry. Oh, no, I yelled at them too. Did well, you? Yes. Did you? Yes. He did call Opie at home. Have you spoken to Anthony or Jim? Yes, I spoke to. I didn't speak to Jim because that's. Jim yes. was doing what Jim does. Right. But, uh, yeah, I spoke with Ann, and I spoke with Oak. Yeah, but how is that my fault? Why would you say fuck you to me when I had... I could still be pissed. I know you were following orders and doing what you're told, but I could still be pissed that you were doing it. What am I going to do, walk out and be like, no, I'm not doing that? It's a, I will not betray the good name of Nagel. I didn't tell you not to do that. I didn't say anything. I just said fuck well, you. Well, I didn't appreciate the fuck you. He said fuck you, Troy. You know, I'm there trying to do my work, and I get a fuck you on my screen? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that what you think? And do you think you deserve that back, E-Rock? I gave him a fuck you, and then I poked him on Facebook. <laughs> E-Rock, uh, how, how do you feel now that that's brushed over? Because I don't know. I mean, I guess I felt brushed like over. that that wasn't that bad compared to the other things that have been done to you, was it? Um, it was bad on a different scale, that you were calling me internationally. Yeah. For one of the final calls was, I believe, and started to make whale sounds. Oh, yeah, for four minutes and while you were on the phone. And that's where I hung the phone over the balcony and left. You hung it? Oh, oh, okay. We thought you were on hold the whole time. No, as soon as I started here, he goes, I, I can't do the sound, but as soon as he started doing it, I go, boom, phone just was hanging right over the balcony and I left. It made number one on the countdown. Of course it did. Were you mad when Anthony said Fat Lannis? That's one of the things I had to talk to him about. <laughs> a, little, a little too easy to figure out what hotel it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, it wasn't in your name, so it's not like anybody could find you. No, but um, later that day I came back and there was a message to contact the front desk. So I figured they were upset about me hanging the phone over the balcony. Sure, and, as, as a hotel would be. And um, 
So I contact them, and they were debating trying to find me, thinking that there was an emergency. I said, for what? Well, <laughs> people were calling, trying to find my room, trying to get in touch with me, and it was nonstop. I guess after you finished talking to me, uh-huh. this went on for almost an hour of people just trying to call and find my room. Oh, my God. They, and they kept saying, is Eric Nagel staying there? Is yeah. the sex bagel there? And no, they didn't say that. <laughs> But uh, they were looking for me. I wasn't registered, so they, uh, you know, they couldn't just patch them to any room. But then they saw where it was connected. Still didn't put them through, but was taking uh, messages and names and stuff. Did you get any any sort of quantifier of how many messages there were? Uh, like, are we talking five? Or are we talking well, a dozen? They told me it was just under twenty names, <laughs> but the calls didn't stop. <laughs> so this went on for. Probably till you were done with this show. So probably oh, till like wow. 11. And you were there with your wife. Oh, at that point I was long gone. I mean, no, you were on vacation with your wife. Yeah. Which, how'd she feel about the event? I'm amazed that she didn't, uh, you guys didn't hear her screaming in the back at, during one of the calls. She was pissed. Oh, she was furious. Now, Roland was telling us all that also one of the reasons that you were pissed was because you had had a heavy night of drinking. That was true. Why... Won't you drink in front of us, but you'll drink on vacation? What do you fucking think? Is it the paycheck thing? Oh, no, no. Tell me this. Because yeah. I talked to Obi because I wanted to play the paycheck clip while you were gone. And I went through the system. Mm-hmm. Did you delete the paycheck story out of our system? No. I didn't know. We should still have it. Did should, we ever isolate it? Should still have it. I would hope. I mean, that would have been your... I, that story happened before I was working for this show. Yeah, but I don't think we ever cut it for worse, though. You think we could get it for tomorrow? You're the archivist. Look. We, we should. Like, why, why would you, you have it? You shit. You weren't even here. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, you're the archivist. You're saying we should have it. Why wouldn't it be in the system? That's what I'm trying to find out. I don't know why it's not there. I guess we'll figure it out by tomorrow. Um... And I wouldn't also, be surprised if that disappeared, by the way. Everybody, when I got to work, my coworkers were all telling me, oh, did you see what E-Rock put on his Facebook status? And I said, no, because I can't see your Facebook status. Why? You should be. No, you blocked me. I, I can't see your wall anymore. We're still friends on uh, Facebook. We're still friends, but you blocked me from seeing your wall. All right, then that shouldn't be. I didn't think I so either. I would have booted you off if, uh, That's what if I, I didn't watch you on the Facebook. That doesn't surprise me. So are you going to unblock me from your wall? Because I would like to see your wall and keep well, up with you, what my buddy's doing. You have doing. like two or three names, so... They're all blocked. That's impossible. I checked on both my accounts. They're all blocked. Do you remember when he deleted you? Yes, I do. I remember when I deleted him, too. Because he thought I stole his money. 500 bucks. And he's deleted other people on the staff as well when he's angry Who? at them. I'm not sure I don't exactly have who. anybody else on the staff. Oh, you won't be friends with them? I've never... Well, well you were friends one, at one time. There's one person. Who? Travis is on there. So you'll only be friends with me, Troy, Travis, and Roland? That's all I ever had, yeah. You refused to be friends with Danny or Derek? They never requested. And you and you didn't request them? No. It's a little tumultuous? Why am I going to bother them on Facebook? All right. Well, if it's a bother, it's a bother. What was his Facebook status? Because I didn't see it. Uh, it said something about... It's no different than what anybody else would I'm not say. happy about having to go to work today. That's oh, not exactly what Jesus. it says. Jesus, what did it say? I think it says, I just wish I didn't have to work anymore. Well, that's not a good outlook to have. You're back from, you just took a week off. Exactly. Why do you want to go to work? After yeah, but you should a... feel rested and ready to tackle the work week. Oh, yeah. Nah. Now, E-Rock, yeah, I, I think that you should probably, I saw Rob Cross in there with you. Was he talking to you about your attitude? No, he was actually telling me about your show moving. And that uh, cutting down your hours. Yeah, they, from eight to eight to ten. Yeah, due to lack of interest. Why would they put us on earlier if it was due to lack of interest? They put other programming on. No, they're not putting a, other programming on after us. Oh, that's not. They're giving us a better it. time slot. That's not how we made it seem. But all right, I haven't seen the new. <laughs> yeah, well, your joke doesn't work. Is what I'm getting that's at. Your joke. Iraq, uh, you were, so you're not mad at Roland? Um. How come Roland doesn't get a fuck you? Because I'll tell you this, Roland, I, I said... Heard, no, I, if this is... Is this him laughing? Is that what you're going to play? Roland's your best friend here, right? Sure. Okay. Did you hear how he reacted to your, you know, what happened? Oh, yeah. I, I saw through the bullshit on that, too, that he was laughing at the impression. Oh, that's what he told you? You were just laughing at the voice? Well, here's the thing. He contacted me later that day, and I didn't know what he was talking about. Uh-huh. And then... 
because he, he was saying you know about people laughing and everything about about you guys calling me and what have you. And he's like, oh, he's like, I'm sorry, I was just laughing at Jimmy's impression. So I went, <laughs> okay. Then when I got to hear the show on the replay, it was obvious he wasn't laughing at the damn impression. He was laughing at you. Or choking, either one. Now, Troy, you tell me. I'm going to play this <laughs> because Roland needs – this needs to be put out there that Roland was just sitting in his office guffawing at E-Rock's misfortune. You tell me, is this a person laughing at the sex bagel or is this a person laughing – at Jim's impression. This is Roland. This is disgusting. the best thing I've ever heard all week long. Ah, oh, Jesus. <coughs> now, for somebody who was laughing at the impression, the fact that he said, ha, 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 oh, the ice cream, ha, <laughs> ha, he was laughing at E-Rock. Yeah, there was part, there's parts, if you listen, where he's laughing, and he's not even doing the impression in the background. <laughs> well, I'm glad that the truth was settled. We were just talking to E-Rock. He's back from his honeymoon. That was your official honeymoon, right? Yeah. And it got ruined by us. No, it wasn't ruined. You still had a good time? I had a very good time. Tell me this, E-Rock. Before we move on to other things, were you and your wife intimate on this honeymoon? It's none of your business. Sam bro. said you did not. That's but Roland said. said you did. It's, it's a debate we were having. And, you know, you could kind of get all this out of the way, uh, you know, answer all the questions that everybody has. Was there intimacy? No one has these questions. Physical intimacy? Just we, you. We, we, actually, we did, though, during lunch. <laughs> I got to tell you something, Roland. I love e new uh, attitude that he's had today. I hope that he continues with it. His whole just, like, I don't care anymore attitude. It's, it's sassy. Very, it's sassy. It's cavalier. I got one guy on Twitter who's asking me to ask you why you blocked him, but I'm assuming it was because he was being an asshole, right? Who, me or Roland? You, uh, you. sorry, Eric. Uh, what, did I block him? Yeah, some guy said you blocked him. Probably. Probably. And is it? what's the chance of you unblocking him? Well, I got to see what he said first. I don't know. Find him on my Twitter, I guess, then. He's, uh... Be, is this your new thing, Eric? You, you don't really care? You're just going to be like, whatever, dude? I like it. it. Look. I like it. I'm not how, saying it's a bad how thing. How can you when no one else does anymore? And okay. it's just like... This. I'm not going to stress myself out anymore and make myself nervous or whatever else I was doing. Uh, beforehand. What do you mean not anybody else cares? I'm not. That's staying vague. You're not going to get more specific? Because no, you said it. No, because I don't care. Because you don't care enough I to don't specify. Care. No, I don't. I, I, like, you I know, like my job. I like this show. I don't believe. No, I don't believe either of those two things. <laughs> I and I like what I do. Those three things that you just said are lies. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. You're going to do what you do. I'm not going to drive myself crazy anymore. Nope. Uh, what was driving you crazy before that you were doing? Just this environment. And you're going to be like, now you're going to be like, whatever, dude. Things have to change, so that's what I'm going to do. I love badass E-Rock. He is. He's bad. So does this mean when they start taking shots at you on the air, you're going to take some shots back? Because you're not that good at taking shots back. You take a lot of lumps, but you don't, you know, you should dish them out more. We'll see what happens. What do you think? What's your gut? I don't care anymore. 
I love this. You like that, Roland? I love it. <laughs> you like I'm the attitude? Adopt, I'm going to adopt that, too. Is that the is Mikey Piff showing around and hits one interns? I think they're interviewing. It's intern day? I don't know. I didn't get <laughs> we wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Well, Roland, uh, you know, we we're, were talking. They're right out there. Why don't you bring them in? No, because if they are, I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, with a pussy. Oh, look at this one now, Sam. I don't care. <laughs> with a pussy. I just said, I just made it clear. I don't want to get in with trouble. Uh, no, I didn't, but I thought you were like rebellious. Eric said he's rebellious. That was E Rock we were talking about. Oh, my bad, Sam. <laughs> that wasn't me. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Well, 